Good morning and welcome to Ching Kwong Road Recreation Ground, home of cricket in Hong Kong for the Caravel Foundation 2023-24 All-Stars Series. It's the under-16s getting us underway today and we're in the middle, ready for the toss with the two captains. Lions won the toss and have elected to bat first and the Islanders will then be bowling. So we'll be getting underway at about 9am. Big 50 over game today here at Ting Kwong Road Recreation Ground. Playing on turf for all the All-Stars this week here at Ting Kwong Road. Nice green pitch. I talked to Jason, the head groundskeeper. He reckons 300s available on this wicket. A good batting track coming up here for the Big 50 over game. Thanks to the Caraval Foundation. It is the Junior All-Stars Under-16s game. Islanders versus Lions. Good morning and welcome to Ching Kwong Road Recreation Ground, home of cricket in Hong Kong for the Caravel Foundation 2023. Good morning and welcome to Ching Kwong Road.
Good morning and welcome to Ting Kuang Road Recreation Ground. Aaron Bush with you for the Caravel Foundation 2023-24 Under 16's All-Star Series starting off today on Good Friday. Umpires heading out to the middle now. Umpire Sharma, Umpire McDonald officiating today. If you're just joining us, it's the Kowloon Lions versus the Hong Kong Islanders with the Lions winning the toss, electing to bat. We'll run through the sides while the teams come out to the middle. For the Lions, the captain and the under-19s captain as well, Shiv Mata, Aryev Kaderia, Abhimanyu Ganeshian, Veer Thakka, Aziz Shashir, Yasa, Jacob Lim, Krish Bhutani, who may open the batting today for the Lions. Abuza Ali is 12th. He will bowl, though. Kasim Iqbal, Raja Shabazz Mahmood, Ramir Singhal in 13th, uh, Shihan Audrey and Shrey Chanchad will have the gloves for the Lions today. For the Islanders, the speedster Danny Mapp is the captain. Agam Doshi will be wicketkeeper today. Athava Bisht, Hamza Khan, Imran Ahmed, Ishan Dadlani, James Caldwell. 12th man today, Piaz Dajari, Preet Mangukia, Rishi Batani. Yes, both Batani brothers playing today against each other. 13th player today for the Islanders is Sami Ulla. Shyan Puri, the spinner from KCC, and Veer Mata. So two brothers playing against each other today. Shiv playing against Veer and Krishi playing against Rishi. Bat is coming out to the middle. Does look like Krish Bhutani. And Jacob Lim opening the batting for the Lions today. Get underway from the softball ground end. And the captain for the Islanders, as I said, the speeds to Danny Mapp. No surprise, he's got ball in hand. There he is on screen. Looks like Bhutani will take strike and Jacob Lim will be at the non-strikers end but they're still having a little discussion. As Jacob heading down to the non-strikers end there. So yeah, two slips in place for the Islanders and of course as I mentioned Agam Doshi with the gloves on in slips James Caldwell and Veer Mata in second slip Ready to get the first game of the Caravel Foundation under 16's All Stars underway on Good Friday here from Ting Kuang Road. First runs off the bat for the Lions, straying onto the pads there, pushing it out to mid wicket. And Chris gets off the mark. And we'll bring Jacob Lim to face his first delivery from Danny Mapp. Almost set. Set two slips in place. Veer and not. He's a bit wider than a second slip. Second and a half slip. And Jacob just pushes it back down past the bowler. No run. Yeah, yeah. 
effort ball there from Matt, but Nim gets runs again out to that mid wicket position. And onto the pads. This one's found the gap though. It's racing away. This could be the boundary as it races down to the ropes. Over the ropes for four. Nice stroke there, Chris Butani. First boundary for the Lions. Just eased it beautifully between square leg and a wideish mid wicket. And strays onto the pads this time a little bit too far down leg first extra in the books first slip James Caldwell on camera just before Let's see him standing next to Doshi That one beats the bat, tucked it away safely. It's the line and length map is looking for. You can hear that was Veer Matha saying, That's your line, Danny. That's your line. We're in an agreement. It was a good delivery. Right on the toes, but just chopped out. Trickled it down to fine leg. It's a good Yorker. A single to end, a good over for the Lions after one. Eight for no loss. Pies to Jari to open the bowling from the Argyle Street end for the Islanders. This format, he won't bat today. Using a batting 11 and then a bowling 11. Jari at 12th man. Having a bowl. Opening the bowling from the dangerous Argyle Street end. Bhutani with that single to end the first over, retained strike. Just the one slip in place. Got a wider gully catching position just off screen. That goes between both of them. Three second slip down to deep third for a single. back on strike just the one he only faced two deliveries in the first over similar set field full again crunched through point well fielded looks like Krish's brother Rishi there at point that line nicely but well played and also incredibly well fielded with the left mitt
Oh, and that's a good delivery. Past the outside edge. Brought the length back. First two were full. The next one, Yorker length. That one there was the one. Had Lim coming forward. This time, again onto the offside. Bish doing the fielding again. Much easier this time. One ball remaining in the second. Lim on strike. And again, pushing at it as it shapes away. A good over from Tajari. Just the one run coming from it. And after two, the Lions nine. The loss of no wicket. Map to continue from the softball ground end. First over going for eight. And that's a good line and length from Map. And just pushes it back. It's Batani, I should say. Chris Batani's been in some very good form through all the age groups of late. under 15s in the Hong Kong China under 19 side been playing senior cricket as well for Kowloon Cricket Club and so as many of these players oh that's a big edge it's gone through the hands of second slip flying chance it flew off the bat it's just maybe a little bit too high as well watch the replay this ball had speed the left hand side there of Fiamata. Back live. Danny tries to put in a very quick ball. Faded across Lim. Doshi on screen. Keep it's Dave for the team in green. The Islanders oh, has been poking at that one. Gets another dot. Much better over so far from Map. Chance went begging between first and second slip this time. Lim pushing across the body. Shuffled across. Lucky not to get anything on it. This time does get bat on ball. Out to square leg. Ishan Dadlani doing the fielding. Two balls remaining in the third. A good little battle. Matt finding the edge last time. Tani was on strike. And it could be an edge this time. I heard an edge. The umpire heard an edge. And that is the first wicket to fall for the Lions. It's Chris Butani out for eight. And Danny Mapp strikes in the third. Lions 12 for one. Mapp missed out the last time he bowled to Butani. But this time, squared him up. Got the edge. Easy take for the keeper, Doshi. Always dangerous, Danny Map.
Coming to the crease for the Lions at number three, Arya Kaderia. Joining Jacob Blim. Early wicket. Jacob asking Veer to defog the glasses. It's warm, it's sticky. The helmet's on. Area to face the final delivery of the third over. So Mark Farmer in charge of this whole operation for the pathways behind Jacob, watching on. And well left by Kazaria to finish off a successful over. For the Islanders, Danny Mapp strikes and the Lions after three are 12 for one. Have another look at that wicket of Krish Bhutani. Perfect delivery from Danny. Dajari to continue from the Argyle Street end. A very tidy first over from him. Just the one run coming from it. Limon strike. See some of the parents coming down to watch on this Good Friday. Good to see them all coming down and seeing. That one pushes across the body. Umpire McDonald stretches the arms for the first time today. It's wrapped on the pads, it's a big appeal. Not doing, nothing doing, says umpire McDonald. It's close. Maybe just aiming, angling across so much, heading down leg. Good ball though. Continuing off. It was last over Dejari. This one shorter, so he's pushed behind point. Work to do for the fielders. Deep third coming all the way around. Picking it up on the rope, so they'll get back safely for two. That's gone straight up in the air. Could be the second wicket. Dashi getting underneath it. Oh, and it's just been bobbled out. Gets a life there, Lim. The shot stroke was the one to go for, but he's just mistimed it. Got a big leading edge. The shot straight up in the air. It was a long time up there into the clouds. Lim gets safely down the other end. Kadiria will face his second delivery. On. Oh, that's a bubbled catch from the keeper. Two first slip, gets the edge. Kadaria's got to go. He's out for a duck. And the second wicket falls. The Lions 16 for two. There's some teamwork. James Caldwell in the end taking the catch. You can see off one hand into Caldwell's hands. It's a, do we call that an assist? I'm not sure. Oh, it's also hit the top of the bail come off, did it? Can, can, can we get another replay on that one? I was watching the catch thinking there was an edge, which there may well have been, but the top of the off-stump bail is 
Go on, let's have a look at that one again. Because then a lot of things were going on. Here we go. Yes, it's taken the top of off. I'm not sure if there was any bat on it, but it doesn't matter. It was bowled before it was caught. And brings the captain to the crease for the Lions. Shiv Matha. This team losing a couple of early wickets now. Good bowling from the Islanders. Strong bowling lineup. Led by the captain, Danny Mapp, and now Jay getting in the action. What a ball. Thinking there was an edge. There could well have been a feather ever on it, but hits the top of off. The keeper handballs it, palms it across to first slip. Everyone celebrates. In the end, only Jari gets his name in the books. The bold. Bat on ball, beautifully timed. First ball, his face, and he's just eased onto that one and starts with a boundary. That's what we expect from the under-19s captain. And leading the under-16 lines today. Just eases onto it. Finds the gap. Races away to the rope. Four runs. Final delivery of the fourth. Drops the bottom hand off there. Another, runs back to the bowler. A successful over again for the Islanders. After four, the Lions 20 for two. Have a look at the replay for the LBW appeal. Very close. Limon striker, then there it drops out again. Get that timing right at some point. Anyway, Danny to continue from the softball ground end. Successful last over. He had ball in hand. And Lim, who's been out there since the beginning. Oh, and it's gone down at first slip that one tough chance split the gap between keeper and first slip you can see both of them who's going to go for it whether it was, it was I'm not sure there's any bad in it in the end and I thought Danny sort of appealed for an LBW lots going on at the moment new ball new pitch Map to Lim. It's that one where he moves across. Can't get bat on ball. Angles in, hits the pitch, straightens. This time, better bat on ball. Lim. Applies his trade in the juniors at USRC, but also the CHK Dragons. Leg buys down to fine leg. Shiv on strike now. Captain to captain.
on will be needed to be re-bowled. Extra pace from Map. Taken that second slip out. Two behind square, one on deep third, one at deep fine leg, two on the rope. Just eases it to mid wicket for a dot. It's the two runs coming from that over and after five, the Lions 22 for two. Jared to continue from the Argyle Street end. Two overs, one for nine. Some good keeping there from Doshi. Saving it running down to the boundary. on five now. I mean, he got a life, skied it off to Jari, which wasn't able to be taken. Confident LBW appeal as well, survived. Hey. Oh. Oh. Britani there at point again. Saying Jacob playing for the Dragons. The Dragons have a game on Monday in Sunday Elite Div 2 against the Infidels. And I think that's a day off for the under 16, so he may not be getting a day off. Monday, Easter Monday game. Continuing to be very tidy. Is Pius to Jari. Fuller again just pushed to Rishi. on strike. We saw him do a really nice piece of fielding with his left hand off the bowling of Dejari. Offside, the way the bowling from Dejari is. A lot of the ball's heading out on the offside. That's got a big leading edge down to deep third. Should just be the single. And is... Shiv, who... Hit Dejari for his first boundary. The first ball he faced will face the final delivery of the sixth. Yes. It's going to be behind point there to get runs. Deep third coming around. Single. Shiv will retain strike and after six the Lions 25 for two.
Danny Mapp to continue from the softball ground end. Three overs so far, one for 12. Again, it will be captain to captain. Mapp to Matha. No run there, as it goes straight to mid wicket. Just hit it to his brother. Shiv to Veer. Now, was it second slip? Now at mid wicket. This time slashed in the air, the toes get through. It's to the right. Rishi at point again. That was absolutely crunch though. Fell right at the ground to his right. You can see it's in the air, but not really a catching chance as it went flying away. Square of point. Another boundary. Two fours and a single. Shoot a nine. Behind square. Bat on that one. It's another single. Limon strike. I'm looking to put that one over the top of backwards square, but no bat on it. But no damage done. Extra in the books. In the parents there. And little side one having a training session perhaps over there in the nets. One got the day off school today. Good Friday. Just a perfect day to play some cricket. Some unsettled weather coming over the weekend. Hopefully we'll get through this first game no problems. Weather report looks good. Saturday and Sunday looking less optimal. Just guides that through gully this time, Lim. Deliberate stroke. Nice one for a single. Shift to face the final delivery. Of the seventh. This time does go straight to point. Vitani does the fielding. Top ball to finish with. And after seven, the Lions getting six runs, seven runs that over. Move to 32 for two. Jari into his fourth over. So far, three overs, one for 12. That's a big appeal, a very confident appeal. And again, angling, heading down leg. Paul oh, McDonald unmoved. He's getting in good shape back into the, the batters, Jari. This 
one, Fuller, hit hard. Gets through extra cover, Bish, I think, there. So they get through for a single. Soft hands to let it run down to deep third. Keeping the singles ticking over. Run rate still very handy for the Lions. Oh, that's a good delivery. Got through everything in the end. Bat on it as well. Limbs living dangerously. Against Ajari, LBWs, flick one up in the air. Lucky for him not to be caught. That one there again. Gets another life. Which is cricket. There's three singles so far off the eighth. One ball remaining. Stands up on this one, pushes it to extra cover, dot ball. Tidy over again, unlucky for Dejari not to get his second and after eight, the Lions are 35 for two. Handy partnership forming now, third wicket. Actually on the bat of the captain Shiv Mata, two boundaries. Going to almost run a ball. Looks like we'll see a change in bowling from the softball ground end. Captain Danny Mapp taking himself out of the attack, bringing in Cheyenne Puri, who has been in some scintillating form for Hong Kong, China, and also ACC. Close to making his Premier League debut a few weekends ago from KCC Premier, his 12th man that day. Still playing under 15s. Giant spin bowler, Doshi got the helmet on, up to the stumps. Ishan Dadlani doing the duties at the moment. We'll be in the dedicated batting lineup for the Islanders later on. Richard Patani moving to a shortish mid wicket and moves Pius to Jari into a backward point. Full to start with. Single to Lim as he pushes it down to mid off, safely through. It's one crunch, it gets through the gap of the infield on the offside. Will it be the third boundary to Shiv? Yes, it is. Beautifully timed. Pick the gap between cover and extra cover. Tight field on that offside. 
Doesn't matter to Shiv. He finds the gap. Full from Cheyenne outside off. And that's the better line and length from Cheyenne Puri. Gets the dot. Captain Danny Matt putting himself in first slip now. He's having a rest from the bowling from the softball ground end. Really finding his line and length now, Puri. Going for that boundary, which was too full outside off. Now, pulled it back. Not a pitch that's going to have a lot of spin in it. So it's all going to be about the drift and the angle. She has done for the final four deliveries. After nine, the Lions 40 for two. Like the captain, Danny Mapp, bringing a change in the bowling as well from the Argyle Street end. James Caldwell with ball in hand. Some of the parents coming down already. Nice and early start, 9am, now 9.40. One over remaining in the power play. James Caldwell. Playing for HKCC in the under 15s. The Optimists. No slip in place for the speedster. Waiting on a few field changes at the time. There were four outside the circle. Still one over left in the power play. Two coming in now. Both deep square leg and deep point back inside the circle. Deep cover. It's Caldwell. Bowling to Jacob Lim. Lofted over the infield where that player was back out on the ropes but had to come inside. That's going to go all the way down. Farms does the fielding. Nice boundary from Jacob Lim who I would guess is very happy not to see Dejari coming in from the Argyle Street end. Troubled him at times. Caldwell's first delivery. Lofts it over the infield outside off. So that's caused a change in the fielding. That deep cover has gone back to farms out there on the ropes and fine leg has come up inside the circle to keep the number of fielders inside the circle correct full this time so that one's picked the gap that could be another boundary as well and it is beautifully timed from Lim and the Yorker length there Caldwell Lim's just timed that thought it was going to go straight to the fielder at mid off but Pick the gap. Just to the left of Caldwell, to the right of mid off. Raced away down to the short boundary at the Argyle Street end. Back to back fours to start this over. And then a no ball. This one gets through mid off as well. So at least two. Just the two. Means 
Cold War and means. And the 50 runs come up with that two runs off the no ball. Also means they can't change the field. Same batter back on strike. For the free hit coming up. Lofted picks the gap that sweeper now out on the boundary doing the work but the small fumble allows them to come back for two good over so far for the lions 13 off it Still half the over to go That one's lofted in the air and out gets the wicket. Caldwell, after going for 13 off the first three deliveries, the fourth one's an absolute peach and it goes straight to square leg. And Veer Matter taking the catch. Jacob Lim's innings comes to an end on 22 and the third wicket falls for the Lions. It's a good catch. It was not fully carrying, so he had to get down low on the toes. Good hands from Veer. And the opener limb departs. Coming to the crease. Kasim Iqbal for the Lions. Joining his captain Shiv Mata. 15. That's a big ball from Little Saiwan. There's lots of cricket for them, as many links as he can. Be on strike. Right on the toes to start with from Corwell. Picked up by Danny Mapp. Holding an extra cover. Shortish extra cover as well. He's going to head back out now. He's on the Astro Turf pitch. Final delivery of the power play. One. It's driven nicely, but it can't beat the captain. Does get through for a single as it palms away. And Iqbal gets off the mark. And the end of the 10th, a successful one for the Islanders, but also good runs coming for the Lions. 14 off it. After 10, they're 54 for three. Sharing the wickets around. Now the Islanders, one each for three of the bowlers. Shine Puri with just one over to his name. Yeah, to get a wicket. will continue from the softball ground end, however. Loose for the first two deliveries of his first over Shire Puri, but the next four deliveries were right on the money, backing up dot balls. And with a left arm around the wicket. Iqbal who just eases it to cover. Bisht has been in that position pretty much all day. Good job fielding. Full and a replay. There he is again, number 26. Another 
Bisht. Getting himself on camera quite a bit so far today. Oh, and that's a great delivery. Play. Back live. Continues to rack up the dot balls. That's eight in a row for Cheyenne Puri. Now tries to break through. Oh, that's great fielding. Body behind ball from Bist. It's come off the knee. And he's kept it to a dot. It was hit very hard. Kicked up off the turf pitch area and struck on the inside of the knee, I think. Kept it to a dot. And that will be the first maiden of the day for the Islanders. After 11, the Lions remain 54 for 3. All well to continue from the Argyle Street end, successful in his first over, getting the big wicket of Jacob Lim. Siobhan strike, gets a full one, pushes it just to the... Oh, it's got through all the field, timed beautifully. Didn't get down to it and gets the boundary. It's going to say that Caldwell got away with that one, bowling a full toss to Shiv, but... Actually timed it so nicely. Went through. Mid on. Came across trying to field it. Hamza Khan just couldn't get hands on it. Another boundary to Shiv. He moves to 19. That's a good delivery. Well played as well. Kept it out. KCC players battling it out. Caldwell to Matha. And that's another good delivery. Obviously the big wicket the Islanders will be looking for is that of Shiv, the captain of the Lions. They can get that wicket before the drinks break coming up soon. They'd be very, very happy. And Go into the drinks break ahead. Yes. This time, Hamza Khan makes mo no mistake. They get through for a single. Iqbal on strike now. Gets a full one. Again, comes a Khan into the action. Action of plenty this over for him. Field it out on, right on the edge of the circle. The run's there. Not hit too hard. Rotating the strike. She will face the final delivery of the 12th. One gets a bit of bounce off the turf pitch and stands up on it, pushes it through point. Sweeper on the offside will pick up. They'll come back for two. Some good runs coming for the Lions after that maiden this time. Eight runs coming from the over and after 12, they're 62 for three.
Jai and Puri to continue into his second over. I'm coming off a maiden. He's now bowled 10 dot balls in a row. And make that 11. Something's going to give here. Either it's going to be a big hit, trying to break through. Or Cheyenne's going to break through and get a wicket. As the pressure builds. Full. And there it is. Big thick edge on it. It's going to go all the way down to the ropes for four. Breaks the string of dots. Just a bit full there from Cheyenne. Everybody down at the deep third, allowing that one to race to the ropes for four. Now we're back to the normal scheduled program where Cheyenne bowls it. The batter hits it straight to Bish at extra cover and another dot. Oh, he tries to go huge on that one onto the leg side, gets straight through. Oh, that is very, very close to the off stump. This time, watches it out onto the offside. Makes it almost the way to the rope, but only a single in it. Makes a gap between extra cover and points. So they get through for a single. Runs coming from that over for the line. Six in fact. And after 13, they're 68 for three. Well, well, we'll bowl his third over from the Argyle Street end. Siobhan Strike just guides that off the toes. The short fine was inside the circle, so did very good to cut that one off. I think Shiv thought that was racing down for four. In the end, it's just a single. Imran Ahmed there. He was inside the circle doing great fielding. Now he's been pushed back to the rope by the captain, Danny Mapp, who's right in front of our commentary position. Bringing the changes into the second power plate. More players allowed outside the circle. It's that one again trying to get on the toes, but eases his way down leg side. It's a good battle as we come in towards the drinks break. Three wickets. Islanders would like that. But runs on the board and the captain Shiv Mather still out there in the middle. Big ball on strike at the moment. Gets a full one. And oh, that was almost an absolutely brilliant catch. Well, that was a no ball in the end, so it wouldn't have counted even if it's stuck. Overstepping. Arm goes out. Both. Caldwell and umpire McDonald's arms went out at the same time. So they can move the field, but Shiv is going to get the free hit. Oh, he's not. He's down the non-striker's end. It's Iqbal who will be getting the free hit. 
This is the signal of the free hit. We knew it was a free hit. The umpire is doing the protocol. Forgot to do the whirly. Given an opportunity to put that one right over backward square leg into the soccer nets, but just rolls it down to fine for a single. Taps himself on the head. He's throwing the head back as well, Iqbal. He felt like he was missed out there, but it's the single. These two just need to survive, get through to drinks as they put together a very nice partnership. We'll have a look at the partnerships at the end of this over. This one will be very close to topping it not yet getting up there gets a full toss map will cut that one off keep it to a single there's the captain for the islanders on camera we get to his name and opening the bowling from the softball ground end in the slot it's over the top of the head of mid off a few bounces races down into the spare sight screen for four powerfully hit there from Iqbal Hamza Khan is in all the action at the moment flew you could see him jumping have to be about two foot taller to uh, Get that one into the midst though. And there's going to be more runs here for the Lions. Rotates the strike. Gets the extra as well. Two balls still remaining in the 14th. Eleven runs so far off the 14th for the Lions. Two balls remaining. And that will just be a single captain to captain. the drinks break I might go see if I can find a special guest to come in and join me in commentary for a while spy somebody to my right might want to come and put the headset on it's called well finishing off the 14th I need to re-bowl that one though the run rate still very handy for the Lions can bat the full 50. This run rate, if they bat it out, they'll get 293 on the board. Jasim said it was a 300 run pitch. It'll be a matter of batting out the full 50 for both sides to get the runs. Now a no ball free hit coming up to try to finish off the 14th. Lofted, chance just short of Bhutani at backward point. He came across into the point region, didn't carry to him, and they'll get through for two. Finish off a good one for the Lions, 14 done. They are 84 for three. And we will be taking a drinks break here at Ting Kwong Road Recreation Ground. As we go into the drinks break, Look at the partnerships at the moment. Iqbal and Mate almost up to the top. 31. Have a look at the batting and bowling cards before we go to the drinks break. 
Opening the batting today, Chris Butani and Jacob Blim. Blim had a few lives to get his 22, but he got him on the board. Butani falling for eight, and Kadera not out there for long. Bold, that was a great ball. We thought it was caught behind and then caught in slips, but it actually took the top of off stump from Tajari. Good bowling, and out there in the middle, Shiv Matter, the captain on 26, joined by Iqbal on 14. Bowling, as we said earlier, Sharing the wickets around, Danny Mapp, the captain for the Islanders, opening the bowling, one for 19. Dajari with that wicket that took the top of off. And Caldwell getting a wicket as well. And Cheyenne Puri, who has got the only maiden of the day, yet to get a wicket, none for 11. In the drinks break, join us on the other side for all of this, the exciting Caraval Foundation Under-16's All-Star Series, live from Tinkwong Road. Welcome back. The drinks break done here at Tinkwong Road Recreation Ground. The Caravel Foundation under 16's All Stars Series Islanders v Lions. If you're just joining us, Lions won the toss, selected to bat. And at the drinks break, 84 for three, evenly poised. Three back in the sheds. These two out in the middle, putting together a handy partnership now, 31 off 28. Shiv going at a runner ball, 26. He'll be on strike. Shy and Puri will continue from the softball ground end. And his deliveries have ended up there. Bit of a field change. Veer has now gone into that extra cover position, giving Bish to rest. Brother to brother. This time it's straighter, so mid off does the work. I'll get through for a single. Watchful from Iqbal. More dots for Cheyenne. As he said before the drinks break, the only man to bowl a maiden today. So far the only one for the Islanders yet to get a wicket. I feel like it could be coming. 
And they're going to... Gets past the bowler down to mid-on, so they'll make the single. Shiv to face the final delivery of the 15th. Gets it to the side of his brother. Does great work diving down. Not sure where he flicked it back to. Single to end. Three singles in that over for the Lions. They're 87 for three. Change of bowling from the Argyle Street end. Sami Ula into the attack. Left arm spinner. You've watched plenty of Tinkwong Road Recreation Ground coverage on Cricket Hong Kong Broadcasting. You'll note this is a tough end to bowl from. For the slower ball bowlers, short boundary straight down towards our commentary position. They put a long off on the ropes, but mid on inside the circle. Good first delivery. So, big round of applause from the Islanders in the field. That one has hit hard outside off to cover. They do have fielder out there. I think that's Hamza Khan again. Always in the action at the moment. He's out on the rope. Also got a deep square leg, that long off on the ropes I was talking about. Just the three I see outside the circle at the moment. Ah, big thick edge, third inside the circle. Looks like Shine Puri, that floating third. Didn't carry at all, Just rolled to him. Brings Shiv on strike. As we saw last over, brother to brother. It's to that extra cover position, Via doing the fielding. It's quite an attacking field, as I said, just three outside. Again, Hamza Khan into the action. Only dealing in singles, tidy over so far from Sammy. Three off it with one remaining. As the Lions creep their way towards the three-figure mark. It gets warmer and warmer out there in the middle. Sun trying to poke through the clouds. Floats that one. Beautiful delivery. Gets through Iqbal. Finishes with a dot. Three off the over. And after 16, the Lions are 90 for three. It's a nice delivery. Singles continue and the partnership moves to 37 off 40. Iqbal coming in at number five. Doing a good job supporting his captain. Shine Puri will continue into his fifth over. Four over so far, one made none for 14. Cheyenne, there is a long on in place out on the softball ground and ropes. Deep square leg. And the sweeper out on the ropes on the offside comes into play again. It's Preet Bangooki are out there, I think, patrolling the boundary. There is Preet.
Iqbal on strike now. Gets a full one. Uh, does get it past Giant. Saw that last over as well. Bit of a late call. If he can get past the bowler, the long on back. So a single to be had. Shorter this time. And again, similar result. Past the outstretched right hand of Puri. Eases that one fine. Diving effort from Corbell cuts it off. No bat or pad on it, so it's just drifted down leg, called wide. And going for a top of 30 degrees here at Tinkwong Road Recreation Ground, currently 26.7. It's warm, 75% humidity. Tough work out there. Does get down to field his own ball this time, keeping it to a dot. Tries that faster one into the pads, pushed onto the leg side this time. Vitani now. Shortish mid wicket. A lot of area to patrol there. If he gets through him, it's probably four. That one's going to mid off, no run. Finishes with a string of dots to Cheyenne Puri. 17 done. Lions 95 for three, going at 5.6 and over. They won the toss. It's a batting track. And they're batting well at the moment. Current run rate will get them. 279, so 250 plus is definitely on the cards if these two can stay out there. Sami Ulla to continue from the Argyle Street end. Tidy first over, just three singles coming from it. Long off in place again. Deep cover and Whitish deep square, who come into play right now. Can't cut it off. Gets the boundary. Iqbal with his third four. The left arm around the wicket. It's a bit short. Gave Iqbal plenty of time. Fielder hums a can't. Wide of square, so pulled it behind square for the boundary. This time only makes it to point. It's the dot. The runs continue for the Lions as they move towards that three figure mark, and this partnership moves towards a half century. Max up the dot. Well, leaves it alone outside off this time. That left arm spin. Behind point, there's runs to be had. Floats this one, drives it through cover and hits it straight out to the sweeper. Ishan Dadlani out there and that brings up the 100 for the Lions. Side 18 overs, going at a good run rate. Wide, again, work to do for Dadlani on the rope. And one ball remaining in the 18th. This partnership, almost half the score now, 48 of 101. Can't get past. Rishi at point, so a dot to end with. Bringing up the 100, that over. 18 done, the Lions 101 for three.
Shine Puri to have a rest from the softball ground end. Imran Ahmed into the attack for the Islanders. Back to pace from the softball ground end as they started with. Shivon strike. And he just eases that out. Preet again on the ropes. Keeps it to a single. One more single and these two will bring up a 50 partnership. Pretty decent clip as well, 49 off 53. And the partnership is brought up with a no ball. Not the most stylish way to bring up a 50 partnership, but 50 partnership it is. Shiv contributing 19, Iqbal contributing 22, you can see on screen. Just 54 deliveries and a free hit coming up. It's uh, driven hard down to long on, but Matt will clean that one up. Just a single. Gets away with the no ball. Rotates the strike back to Shiv. 34 of 40, including 4-4. Four it's been a while since we've seen a Shiv fall. Keeping the runs on the board, though. Pushes it wide of his brother. Preet will come in off the ropes. Rebowl that one, Imran Ahmed. This time gets his line and length bang on. Ball on the toes. Chances the arm of Bhutani and get through. Another single. Safely home, good running between these two. the hand off the bat Shiv and again Bhutani into the action and another single Shiv will retain strike after 19 lines 108 for three you can see the dugout today both teams in the changing rooms. The Lions in the dugout at the moment, of course, batting.
Samiola to continue from the Argyle Street end. Starts with a dot. Been tidy so far. None for nine. Having a win. If you're going for less than the current run rate, you can see on screen a 5.6. That one's pushed hard onto the offside. Veer will cut it off. And we'll get through for a single. It's good fielding again. Been in the action. A lot of diving from Veer Matha. And he's not going to be in the action this time. It's hit too well for his left. So... out to the sweeper Badlani doing well out there protecting that rope no. this time no run Rishi Pitani that point comes around again tidy from Sammy two balls remaining in the 20th Stayed a little low on Shiv. Under edge of the bat. Gives him a full toss this time. Unfortunately, he hit it straight to his brother. Dots are just two singles coming from the 20th, and the Lions are 110 for three. Imran Ahmed to continue from the softball ground end. He's got an edge there, I think he does. The finger goes up and the fourth wicket falls for the Lions. Iqbal out for 25. The Lions 110 for four. Watch the replay. You can hear the edge. Dashi takes the catch. Finger goes up. And that's a huge, huge wicket for the Islanders, breaking that partnership. See how big that wicket was, breaking a 57-run partnership between Iqbal and Shiv Mata. Looks like, is it a Veer coming to the crease? Get confirmation, but I think that's a Veer Thaka. It is. We on strike. Ahmed striking the first delivery of his second over. Another Hong Kong Cricket Club player out to the middle. One of my favourite players in cricket in Hong Kong, Avia. Big fan of the 8 for 52 podcast. Love to send us messages, the young man. And he's got a job to do with the bat out there with his captain. Watches it out onto the offside. Preet doing the fielding. Tight offside field now. Only third back outside the circle and a floating third, not right back on the ropes. Backward point. Cover and extra cover, mid off. Also got a fine leg in place. Square leg. Shortish mid wicket, mid on. 
Goes to the backward point region. Hamza Khan into the action again. Good over so far for the Islanders and Imran Ahmed. Seen one maiden today. We haven't seen a wicket maiden so far. And Imran pull it off with three more dots. Veer on strike. He can't do it because he's put that one too far outside the tram lines. Brings up an extra. Follows the wide with a no ball, so might take the pressure off of Via. Now gets a free hit if he wants to get off the mark. Do as he pleases. Captain comes down, has a chat. He says exactly that. Changes in the field for the free hit. Fear takes a couple of steps, tries to smash it, but only to pick out mid on, and it's a dot. Imran Armour getting away with it for that no ball. Two balls remaining in the 21st. Ball. And another dot ball. Are you doing the fielding? <laughs> Tidy bowling from Imran Ahmed. Getting the edge. The first delivery. A couple of extras. The rest. Been good to watch. Be just getting his eye in. Full. That will be a dot as well. Uh, very tidy over if we ignore the extras. We'll call that a wicket maiden. Imran Ahmed breaking through on the first delivery of that over. Just the two extras coming from it. And after 21, the Lions 1-1-2 one, one, for four. Pegging it back a little bit here at the Islanders, especially with that big wicket of Iqbal. Runs continue to the flow, and the parents in, in watching the Caravel Foundation Junior All Stars game. A few seats left over there if you want to come down and watch as well. Plenty of parents in already. It's great to see. Sami Ulla with the left arm continuing from the Argyle Street end. Continuing his tidy bowling. Really pegged it back since drinks the Islanders. Run rate falling down towards the five mark. Up at 5.6, 5.7 there for a while. Pushes that down to long off the Jari. Makes no mistake, keeps it to a single. Brings Veer. A Veer Thacker back on strike. Yet to get off the mark. He will get off the mark this time as it goes wide of point. Rotates the strike back to his captain. Face 50 deliveries now for his 38. Gives himself some room and Danny Matt will have to cut that one off from a wide long on position and does. 
One ball remaining in the 22nd. We move towards the halfway mark. Good delivery to finish with. Just the three singles coming from the 22nd and the Lions 1-1-5 one, one, for four. Imran Ahmed from the softball ground end to Shiv Mata. He's going to get a single, even though his brother does some diving acrobatic fielding. He's to 40, and it's been a solid 40. Can't recall anything that Shiv looked like he was going to get out to. Did he one in the air through point? wide to the point fielder and that's as close as they've got to getting him out so far. Islanders may need to tackle and target his partners. At the moment, Veer watching the ball nicely. Something we haven't seen a lot of is Dedicated leaves, which are not a bad idea in this long format. And then as I say that, he goes slashing it a wide. Still more than half the overs remaining, so no need for hurry or panic from the Lions. And well, the Islanders would like another couple of wickets. Who's it back to Imran? More dots. So last over. Only runs coming from it. We're in extras. He's got that big wicket of Iqbal. Just a single and a wide so far. Halfway through the 23rd. Full. Almost carries. Good fielding. Preet Mangukia there, almost carrying to him. As you can see, just falling short. Bubbles up, got the body behind it though. No protection out on the ropes there. It's another dot. Around got away with that one. Full toss. It's a good length this time, so chopped out. Down to mid off, Veer and Danny combining to stop that one. Bit of a smile on the face of both of them. Short this time. Toes it straight to Rishi Batani at mid wicket. Four dots to end the 23rd and the Lions 117 for four. Another tidy over from the Islanders. Just the two runs coming from it. You see the Manhattan, or as Bodders would say, the Hong Kong. A couple of big towers. Now really pegging it back, the Islanders. Keeping it down to under five and over in the last four. The run rate almost back down under five. It's 5.1 at the moment. Taking wickets, steady intervals. Samiola to continue into his fifth over. So far, none for 14. Another one of those bowlers for the Islanders who's been helping to peg that run rate back down. Tidy bowling. I'd say that. He's put it up in the air over the top and goes for four. One 
there. It wasn't far away from being a catch. It was more that it wasn't overhit from Shiv. Just placed it over the top fielder. Comes a Khan again inside the circle. Found the gap. It was too short from Sammy. This one much better. This is similar. This could go all the way for a maximum. No, one bounce over the rope. Very close. Only a few metres, maybe one metre inside the rope. Short again from Sammy. He can't bowl there to Shiv Mata. And he moves to 48 with his sixth four of the innings. Didn't make, made sure this one wasn't going to go into the mid wicket's hands. Cleared easily over the top. And Gukia out on the ropes, but too wide for him. Comes down, eases it to long off for a single, moves to 49. And a chance in the arm of the fielder, and good running it is. Put a little bit of pressure on Hamza Khan and forced the fumble. Cricket Hong Kong Pathways manager Mark Farmer overseeing these junior All Stars games. And letting fielders know, try to keep it to ones and twos. And Dot to finish with, about a good one for the Lions. 10 coming from it, and they're 127 for four. Bowling's been reasonably tidy. That last over handy for the Lions, going up to, back up to 5.3. You can see the bowling for the Islanders sharing the wickets around still. Imran Ahmed taking the final, the last wicket, the fourth wicket to fall at 110. He's continuing from the softball ground in. A chat there between Shiv and Avir. Avir will be on strike to Imran Ahmed, who has bowled three overs, one for 11. Oh, and it's a very good Yorker delivery from Ahmed. Well played by Avir Thacker to keep it out. Not much else he could do with that delivery. Short. Stayed a little low, but they'll get the single. Hard throw in from Preet, but can't prevent that single. Shift back on strike on 49. Well You're watching along at home on Cricket Hong Kong YouTube. Jump into the comments, have a chat. Let us know how you think the game's going to go. And that's going to go a single to Shiv Mata to bring up his 50. You can almost pencil them in every time he goes out with a bat in hand these days. The captain for the Lions today, Shiv Mata, 50 off 58, including six boundaries. Captain's knock again. So difficult to dismiss. Makes it look so fluid. Veer back on strike. Can't get any run behind point. Comes a can't. Cuts it off. As with the men's All Stars competition, three teams vying in the Juniors Caravel Foundation All Stars series, both under 16s and under 13s, combining three teams Kowloon Lions, Hong Kong Islanders, and New Territory Tigers. 
We'll see the Tigers in two days' time for the under-16s. Another tidy over so far from Ahmet. One ball remaining. Get us to the halfway mark. And it'll get us to the halfway mark with a dot. Two singles coming from the 25th. The Lions 129 for four. It is again Sammy Ulla from the Argyle Street end. As the parents continue to come in, it's great to see everybody welcome come down and watch some live cricket on Good Friday as she punches it hard onto the leg side. But man, Cookia has it covered. That's yes, it is Preet out there and he comes back inside the circle. For Revere, everyone comes inside the circle. Tomorrow, we will see our first under-13s game in the Caravel Foundation All-Stars. The New Territory Tigers versus the Islanders. They run again on the offside. And then the under-16s will be back on Sunday. The Kowloon Lions getting a break. They'll have Sunday off and the Islanders will be taking on the New Territory Tigers. We'll see them for the first time, led by Will Walsh. He's lofted that one behind square. There's going to be runs with everyone inside the circle. Hamza Khan keeps it to a single. There was good work in the field. It almost went down to the rope. And now we shift back on strike. Everybody moves back out onto the ropes. Preet moves out to deep mid-wicket. Danny Mapp moving to long on. There's a long off in place to Jari. And also, I'd say that's... Dadlani out on the deep cover boundary. And again, another tidy over, pegging that run rate back. A bit expensive last time. This time, just the two singles, and that will be it. Two runs coming from the 26th as the Lions move to 131 for four. Change in bowling from the softball ground end. Imran Ahmed to have a break and Viamata into the attack. Three Hong Kong Cricket Club players, two batters, and now the bowler. Getting the field setting right. Only two outside the circle, it looks like, both behind point and square. And a loosener for Veer to begin with. Oh, 
That one's much better. Veer and a Veer, both in the Optimus signs under 15, so would have trained against each other many a time, not just for the All-Stars, but week to week up at the hill. Can't pierce that infield. Preet with his rocket arm. Make sure they don't go for a single, even though he didn't pull the trigger. Shiv and Avir will know how good Preet's arm is. False step from Avir. He goes back to his mark. This one. They're going to chance it and gets the fumble again. Seen that a bit. Put pressure on the field and you can get your single. Now it's brother to brother. And they will get through for a single as it goes wide of Veer. It's Bish doing the fielding, cleaning up. Didn't make it all the way down to Danny Mapp at mid-off. Veer can't Here's that field again. It's a Tapreet. Just having a little chat off mic about how it'd be an interesting dinner conversation if Veer was to get Shiv out today. But that's what the All-Stars is all about. There's a plenty of brothers in the competition. Veer didn't know where that one went. A Veer didn't. Safely down onto his toes. And a tidy over to start with for Veer. None, three runs coming from it. 23 overs remain, the Lions 134 for four. The left arm of Sammy Ulla will continue from the Argyle Street end. Six overs he's bowled so far. They've all been quite tidy. Shiv gives himself room, but Danny Mapp moves across to his right. Good backing up. After it skids through on the pitch. Tried for the tip and run. Oh, that was very close to a run out. There'll be a discussion there. It's a bit of a yes and then no. Good fielding by Sammy. Gets across and hits the stumps. But Shiv was back just in time and had enough time to raise the glove and say, Avir, what are you doing? Reset. This time winds up over the top of the infield. Good hit. Should go to the rope. Will go to the rope. Four runs. Avir Thacker moves to nine. His first boundary of the day. Sammy gave him too much room. We saw one over where Shiv was doing that to Sammy. And this time, wasn't too bad, but Avir gave himself plenty of room and plenty of time clearing that front leg to get it over the infield. Who are all still inside the circle on both sides. This time he's chopped it straight up in the air. The captain takes a catch. Danny Mapp, easy as you like. And Avir Thacker hits a four and then has to depart. The fifth wicket falls for the Lions. They're 139 for five. Sammy Ola getting his revenge and his first wicket of the day. Tried to chop it over that infield. I was just saying how they're all inside the circle and he's just popped it straight up down the throat of the captain, Danny Mapp, for the Islanders. And Avir Thacker has to depart.
Craig Chanchad coming to the crease. The wicket keeper for the Lions. Number 17. Shiv sees his fourth batting partner come to the crease. A partnership with Jacob Lynn, partnership with Kasim Iqbal, and then that partnership there with Avir Thakur, you can see on screen, 29. All good partnerships ever since Shiv came out there. Now he's going to put one together, hopefully for the Lions. Shrey Chanchat. He'll be on strike, two balls remaining in the 28th. As I say, Sami Ulla getting his breakthrough. With the left-handed Chan Chan, the left-handed Samuela will go over the wicket. A good delivery. It's staying a little low at times. Banners will have to watch that one with the slower bowlers. And it stayed a little low on Chan Chad, but he survives. Two dot balls to finish with. And that wicket of Avir Thacker. The Lions after 28. They're 139 for five. Just over in a while there it was to start with. The first three deliveries. First two deliveries. Five runs off it. And the wicket fell. You see that pretty often. Get hit for a boundary. And then the comeback ball gets the wicket. Again, we're yet to have a multiple wicket taker for the uh, for the Islanders. Just everyone sharing it around. A wicket to Map Caldwell, to Jari, Imran Ahmed, and now Sami Ullah. Veer Mather to continue bowling to his brother, Shivon 53. Square leg going back out. The cover. Get through for the single through point. Computer projector now saying 221 on the cards for the Lions. See how close that is as we get towards the end. Depends on wickets falling and partnerships forming. Shiv stays out there into the final 10 overs. That's full. It's hit in the air though. It's just fallen short of map. Via A lucky to get away with that one. Not being crunched over the boundary rope for six. But also slightly unlucky. It didn't carry to Danny. Miss hit there from Chan Chat to get off the mark. Now it's Veer to Shiv. Again. Well, a good delivery. Chopped down on it onto the leg side. Another single. to it a little bit too well there. Chan Chad pushing it to map, so no single available. Oh, has he got an edge? He has got an edge. Veer gets his first wicket. Doshi takes a great catch. And that's the end of Chan Chad for one. The six wicket falls for the Lions. 142 for six. Toe of the bat there, I think, from Chan Chad. Watch on the replay. Oh, he did, yeah, low on the bat. Gets the edge. That's a good catch, though. It stayed low. There's a roll in the grass as Doshi takes another catch. That's his third of the day.
Abimanyu Ganashin coming to the crease for the Lions at number eight. Ship sees another partner fall. And Veer gets his first wicket, joining yet more of the island bowlers, the islanders in single wickets. Everyone but Shy and Puri has a wicket to their name. They've used seven bowlers so far. And a good final delivery. Well seen off. Gannison. 29 done. The Lions 142 for six. The run rate under five now. 4.9. I'm not sure what the Wasp is saying for a projector. But I'd say it came down. There it is. 204. It drops down as the wicket falls. This innings from Shiv. It's been solid as always. It reminds me of the innings he played for Hong Kong China A just recently against Hong Kong China. And I remember that one because we organised with all parties involved, including family, that it would be OK for Shiv to come on the broadcast if and when he got out. And he went in and about the second over and didn't come back for about 47 more. So we never got to get him on broadcast. Just that solid, beautiful strokes. He's on strike. Sami Ula gets pushed away out onto the leg side. It's Dadlani out there at the moment. Has been. It certainly is Dadlani. That's his spot down in the VIP tents. Gunnison on strike now. Looking to get off the mark. Won't with that one. Hits it straight to Bist. No run. It's hit hard. Straight. Run on the arm and gets off the mark with a single. Sammy liked that one. Shiv eased it out to point. See third umpire, Hamid Tukrul, on the boundary. So I think we might be taking a drinks break after this last two deliveries of the 30th. Oh, got through him. Back foot planted. Good ball. Gave it some air, drifted away slightly. Good keeping from Doshi. Three catches to his name. Good glove work, keeping Shiv honest and in his ground. There's the two singles so far, one ball remaining in the 30th. This time, we're going to chance it on the arm of Bist and they will get through. Shiv will retain strike. Three singles coming from the 30th. The Lions 145 for six. As we head to the second drinks break, we'll have a quick look at the batting and bowling cards. There's the batting. Good runs from Iqbal and also Jacob Lim. A couple of non-starts getting the Lions so far up to 145 for the captain out there. Captain Reliable, Shiv Mata, 57 off 69. Bowling, as we've mentioned, they just like to share the wickets around to the Islanders. Everyone but Shai and Puri with one wicket to their name. And Veer Mata, so far the pick of the bowl is going at three and over, one for six. Join us on the other side of the drinks break here from Ting Kwong Road. It is the Caravel Foundation Under 16's All-Star Series.
Welcome back to Ting Kuang Road Recreation Ground, home of cricket in Hong Kong. Aaron Bush with you for the Caravel Foundation Under-16s All-Star Series. Second drinks break done right on the 30 over mark. The Lions 145 for six. You'd say the Islanders pegged it back in that session. Getting the run rate down under five, taking some wickets at regular intervals. Via Mather to continue from the softball ground end, successful in his last over. slow with the over rate for the Islanders. They've got a bowl 20 overs in this final hour. It's Veer to Shiv. He eases it to the side of the captain of the Islanders. Captain to captain again. So he had to move to his left. He could get through for the single. Only dealing in singles mostly at the moment, the Lions. Singles and dots. This one's driven confidently. Straight to Bist and no run. He's been solid in that extra cover position. I thought of Bist. Good hands. Goodness, and there's a deep square leg. It's lofted. Oh, it almost carried to Bist this time. Bounced off the knee. Half volley and get through for a single. It was bottom hand in it, as you can see. Oh, so close to carrying. Man, always in the action at the moment. This one along the ground to the same person. I'll get through for the single. Smile on the face to Bist. Continues to be a ball magnet. Means Veer Mather is bowling to his field. Gunnison to face the final delivery on the 31st. And it's, oh, that was almost caught and bowled. He's hit it so well though. It's going to go for four. That whizzed past the ear of Veer. And in the end, seven runs coming from the 31st. Brings up the 150. Have a look at this one. Here with the follow through, couldn't get the right mitt up. Oh, that was awfully close. Hit very well. Anderson gets his first boundary, brings up the Lions 150. They move to 152 after 31. Said, bit of a slow over rate for the Islanders, and they seem to be in no hurry to. Get down the other end. Looks like the captain's bringing himself back on from the Argyle Street end. Danny Mapp back into the attack. Bowled four overs so far, one for 19. Got the first wicket of the day, did Danny Mapp. That of Krish Bhutani caught behind. First of three catches so far for Doshi with the gloves on. Map to Shiv. Finds the gap picked up by Via. See, watching on down at deep third, next to Farms, just at the top where the logo is. Hong Kong China men's coach Simon Willis down watching the action before he flies off to the UAE with the team on Sunday, Monday morning. Pre-tournament warm-up 
series against UAE. That's popped up in the air, but won't carry. Unlucky is the call, and that's true. Only eight overs allowed per bowler in this series. That's why Danny bowled four to start with, and he's got four left. That's why plenty of bowlers have been used. That's yes, full. One. They're going to run as it's hit to Dejari. Another single. So, yes, in this junior format of the All-Stars, only eight overs her bowler. As I was saying, Simon and the team off to the UAE and then off to Amman for the ACC Premier Cup. Good luck to the lads. We announced the team going to UAE and Amman on the podcast, the 8 for 52 podcast this week. A couple of changes. Anas Khan not going on tour. Jamie Atkinson also, but Adi Gorawara back into the side. And also Ronnie Kapoor is flowing up, I assume, from New Zealand. Maybe flying direct to the UAE. That's a long flight. Into the side. Rest pretty similar to the team that took on Nepal. haven't listened to the podcast yet and listened to what the team the men's team going to UAE and Oman is you really should but I will give it to you here on the broadcast as well do it in the over break which is right now three runs off the 32nd the Lions 155 for six the team going with Simon Willis the Hong Kong China men's team to Oman the captain and vice captain, as always, Nazakat Khan and Yasser Murdaza. As I said, Adi Gorawara into the side. Nazaz Khan, Archiman Rath, Atik Iqbal, Yu Shukla, Baba Hyatt, Dananje Rao, Asan Khan, Martin Kutsia, Nazrullah Rana, Ronnie Kapoor, and Zishan Ali. So a couple of keepers going with Adit and Zishan. The slow bowlers of Esan, Yasim, Ronnie, and the quicks, Zaz, Atik, Ayush. Dananjay and Nasrullah, of course. Good side. Good luck to the lads. Hopefully they can bring the ACC Premier Cup home. Going by memory, they're playing Saudi Arabia, uh, Nepal, Malaysia. One other side, maybe Bahrain. Going off the top of my head at the moment. Um, that will be getting underway mid-April after the pre-tour. Via matter to continue from the softball ground down three overs, one for 13. Shiv just eases it back down the pitch to his brother. This time, it's going to be runs onto the offside at point. Call well. Back on the field after having a break. That's the fielding. This one's going to find the gap, not the sweeper though, right down the throat of Preet and. Rocket arm again, keeps it to a single. Set at the drinks break with 20 overs remaining in the final session of the first innings. The Islanders a bit behind on the over rate. Checking the rules to see what will happen there, but extra runs won't be good. Is the fielding restriction can be enforced? And then finds the gap. Work to do for Map from out on the ropes. 
Comes around two runs. We haven't seen too many twos today. So it's good running. So there is a overrate penalty, but if the Islanders can manage to bowl out the Lions before the allotted end time, then there will be no penalty. Otherwise, we'll have to wait and see what the umpires say if we get through the full 50. After 33, the Lions move to 160 for 6. Run rate still just hovering just below 5. A little handy partnership forming again this time. Shiv and add a name. This time Ganesson up to 19, 18 off 25. Still reading the rules as Danny Mapp continues from the Argyle Street end. No run, loud call early. Check, but my reading of this is that there's no run penalty. Only fielding penalty, so no extra runs can be added for a slow over eight. Well, it's good news for the Islanders at the moment. Apart from the Allowed as many fielders out in the final overs. Behind point this time. Runs, it races away. Rishi Batani cuts it off. It's been his fielding position for most of the day. Long boundary, long run, well fielded. Said we hadn't seen too many twos, and there's another one. Straight to square leg, no run. And Gukia onto it quickly. Okay, as it eases its way down to mid on get through for the single. Comes a cart on camera, just stretching. Will he have a bowl? Plenty of bowlers out there that can have a bowl. Oh, that's popped up. Doesn't carry. And last over as well off Danny. Got one to fly up in the air, but the fielders back on the circle couldn't get to it. Most fielders inside the circle by a fair margin, but the ball just not carrying at the moment. Straight to the fielder, but good running, good calling. Gets him through for another single. Four off the over. 16 remain. 164 for six. There is Farms and head coach Simon Willis patrolling the boundary. And we're down at deep third, just doing their laps. I was going to get Simon in on commentary, but I believe he's a bit under the weather. And given I've got to do nine days of cricket commentary in the next ten, I don't really want to catch whatever he has. He's not feeling the best. So we'll let Simon just patrol the boundary instead and watch the all the action of the Caravel Foundation Junior All-Stars for 2023-24. Veer Mata. Gannison. Oh, that almost got through him. Veer's having a look at it. Got some bat on it. 
be staying a little low again. screen you can start to see the ball marks I think pitching outside off pitch dries out to that region by now I shouldn't have to tell you who's got that ball at extra cover it is Bisht again That's bowled him. It's got straight through this time. Taking the stance of Veer becomes the first bowler for the Islanders to take multiple wickets. He gets his second. Knesset out for 10 and the Lions 166 for 7. He's played all around it there. Knesset slamming into the middle and off stumps. Can the Islanders now restrict the Lions under 200? It's a chance. Time there. Run rate suggesting they might get up towards 300, but with only three wickets in hand, Shiv continuing to lose partners in regular intervals. Might be the last man standing. Sheehan Audrey coming to the crease to join the captain. I'm sure we'll see Sheehan with a ball in hand later on. Sheehan will be on strike. Still three balls remaining in the 35th. As the left-hander takes strike. This one onto the pads, eases it to Mangukia. Veer hasn't Decided to go around the wicket to the left-hander yet. See if that makes a change. This time onto the offside. That one goes down to mid-off. Racked up dot balls after the wicket. Two runs coming from the over plus the wicket. After 35, the Lions are 166 for seven. Really dampened down that Manhattan now. Pegging it back down to 4.74 runs per over. We saw him warming up and now he's into the attack. Hamza Khan starts with a good delivery. Just saw earlier Simon Willis and Mark Farmer patrolling the boundary. And it's confirmed. 
Simon's not feeling the best, so he's not going to come into commentary and give me his lurgy. But Mark Farmer will. And it's Oh, that's a great stroke. Can it get past the field? It does. And it's going to roll down to the rope for four. Beautifully timed. Been a while since we've seen a shiv. Nice drive like that. Gets his seventh boundary. So we start to get towards the last ten overs. I'm sure if he's still out there, we'll see more of it. That was very nice. Got the full delivery. Hit it hard enough to get through to Jari. Back live. This time he's hit it to Jari again. And they will get the single on the bobble. Not a bad result for the Islanders though, because it's only a single and it gets Shiv off strike. He moves to 74 and it brings Xi'an back on strike, trying to get off the mark. Just a quick field change. Where's Bist going? He's going to go a bit of a cover point for the left, well, into the leg side for the left hander, of course. Or the right hander, looking at the wrong end. Sheehan, the left hander, is on stroke. Bish has moved into cover. Goes to map at mid off. Old cross axle there for a while. Forgot which end we were bowling and batting from. But yet Xi'an looking to get off the mark. So they've tightened up the offside. Backward point cover, extra cover, map at mid off. Goes around the wicket. Big full toss. Got away with that one. Almost popped it straight to Batani. Almost got the run out as well. Does get Sheehan off the mark and off strike, bringing Shiv back down. The strikers end on 74. Khan with one ball remaining. So Bish changes sides. Back to his extra cover. And he's driven that straight, so we'll get a single, retain the strike. Good over for the Lions as they move to 137 for seven. So dyslexic, so very dyslexic. That's 173, of course. I'm telling you a story how bad I am dyslexic, not just with words, but numbers. When Nepal was playing, there was a 71 and a 17 out in the field. The captain, Rohit Powder, was 17, comes on to bowl, and I said it was Yadav because he was 71. And we see some the chairpersons of Cricket Hong Kong China. Chairperson himself, Bertie Shroff, having a chat to the Cricket Hong Kong staff. The two Toms, Thomas and Tommy. Great to see him down supporting the Junior All Stars, thanks to the Caraval Foundation. Right, back live. James Caldwell back into the attack after three overs, one for 38. Well, Sammy, the only man to bowl out his allotted eight overs so far for the Islanders. Map still with two overs remaining. Veers bowled five and he's having a break now. We'll get through to the final 10 overs. I think we'll see him back in with two wickets to his name. Hold well to Shiv. Gives it a full one and a no ball again. Saw that in the first spell. He was actually off the field for a while and came past the commentary position. Was mentioning how he's working on his run up again. His strides a bit longer. Seen that again. Free hit coming up, but they took the single, which means the field can change for the left handed Shihan Aldri.
pushes it too wide, trying to stay outside the arc of Xi'an. Free hit will remain. Free hit coming up again. And it's lofted hate hard down to long off, but protection on the ropes keeps it to a single. Oh, he's going along at a good clip here, Shiv. 76 off 91. I wonder if we're going to start to see him accelerate before the final 10 overs with only three wickets in hand. Comes down, makes it full. Can't beat the field. Can't beat our man, an extra cover. He's got the ball, body behind the ball a number of times today, Bisht. Gonna have a couple of bruises on those legs. That's his job and he's done it well. Stopping what would be four. Don't keep it to a dot. Clipped a little bit of pad on the way through because it's gone down leg, no call, dot ball. Shifts is telling Doshi, I missed that by a country mile. It was an appeal from the bowler and the batter. Usually you think that's just the one trying to convince the umpire not to give a wide, but that time it was a little bit of a noise, just the pad. There's the Yorker length. Get another single. One ball remaining in the 37th. Four runs, five runs from it so far. Sticking with that run rate around the five mark. It's a good ball, well played, out for a single. Audrey will retain strike. 13 overs remaining. The Lions 179 for seven. That's some good news for my co-host on the 8 for 52 podcast, who's currently holidaying in Vietnam. The Pigeons are in at Ting Quang Road. It's two. We're fielding at mid-off. There's a few sitting out there near the parents' tents and the spectators' tents, which is full now. It's great to see. Good crowd down watching. The first of the Caravelle Foundation under-16s All-Stars game. Tomorrow, it'll be the under-13s turn. Tigers versus Islanders. There's the Pigeons. Love to see them in, in before lunchtime. This can't continue. That's been hit straight up in the air. To the Bermuda Triangle, three players converging. Aldri lucky to survive. Khan lucky not to have that one put out of the park. It was a bit of a rankful toss. Wouldn't want to do the same to Shiv, I'd suggest. But there's nobody in front of Square out on the ropes. And that's a much better delivery, but does ease it onto the leg side. Preet. Onto it quickly, not quick enough to prevent the single. Right, Three on the leg side on the ropes for the left handed Sheehan. Hello, pigeons. There we are, more of them. The other ones at short third at the moment, just off camera now. Round the wicket, full, well bowled. Yorker length outside off, gets the dot. That's not a pigeon. Also down, enjoying having some lunch right here in front of our commentary position. How did you get lunch before me, Mr. Bird? Whatever he's got, it's a big worm or something. He's having a good old nibble. As we move towards the lunch break, still got 12 and a half overs to go. Or three more wickets, of course. the stage of the innings where we're bird watching. Oh, that's another great delivery from Khan. 
gets a bowling hums up from his teammates. Oh, that skipped through a little low. You see how low it's taken by Doshi there? Below the knee roll, almost. Just on the knee roll. Bowling well after that full toss he got away with. He's been bowling nicely. Goes full again, a bit too full, but no run. Matt picks up, keeps it to a dot. Just the two singles coming from the 38th. 12 overs remain. The Lions 181 for seven. See the bowling there, only Sammy's bowled out. He's allotted eight. Danny's got two left. Caldwell looks like he's going to continue. He's bowled half his allotted. Four overs, one for 44. Bringing the changes in the field as well. And Ahmed comes on. Looks like Rishi Batani's going to go have a break. Both in the white sleeves, maybe trying to fool the batters. Imran on, Vitani off. Called well to continue. Siobhan strike on 78. That's probably going to be 78 plus 4. 82. Another boundary to Shiv. Eighth four of the innings eased it over the infield. I said last over how there was no protection on the ropes on the leg side. He didn't manage to find that, that time. But this time, angling down leg, whipped away, just flicked the back leg up. Now they've put the protection in place. Deep mid wicket right with the parents' tent. That is Imran Ahmed out there. It's also a long on in place. A deep square. They're going to get leg buys here. Caldwell was a bit late with the LBW appeal. Have a look at the appeal, hopefully. There's the replay. Uh, definitely going down leg. He's got that angle as the ball hits the pitch continues to ping down towards leg. A good one to get an edge though to the left-handed Sheehart now. Gives him a full toss and almost hits it straight back to him for Court and Bold. At the moment Sheehart is not middling these full tosses he's getting. I think in the end it came off Caldwell's boot. Just very tall man, couldn't get down in time. He takes the strike back to Shiv. He gets a full one and there I said there was no one out at deep square leg so he goes exactly to that spot, hits another boundary, moves to 86. Away with a full one to Sheehan, but not to Shiv. As it drifts on down leg side, full toss, bang. Nobody out there, nobody's still out there, so Caldwell's going to have to adjust his line here, starting it further outside off as the ball comes back in. Another full one, and stands up and gets the single to mid off. Good runs coming this over for the Lions. 11 off it so far with one ball remaining. Called well to Shiant. That's a good length that time, but chopped out well. No run available as Imran. Does the fielding in the white sleeves. And as I said, 11 coming from that over. Good one for the Lions as they move towards 200. They're 192 for seven with 11 overs remaining.
Hamza Khan to continue from the Argyle Street end. Two overs, none for nine so far. Strays down leg. Is it going to go all the way? No, cut off. Get through for a single plus the wide. Round the wicket. There's the Yorker length, but a little full, so Sheehan pushes it into a gap on the leg side for a single. A bit of pad or a little bit of bat. No, nothing on it at all. Had a thud, might have been in the keeper. A few extras in the books now helping the Lions total. It's driven nicely. Map waits for it, so another single. Wide single, wide single to start this, the 40th over. Well, that's flicked away beautifully. But they do have the fielder down. Veer down there, I think, on the ropes. Nice stroke, probably deserved a bit more, but just another single. 199. What's the wasp saying now? 234. That's a good, oh, I thought it was a good delivery, but he's pushed it too far. Outside off to the left-handed Xi'an, and that brings up the 200. 235 and the final 10.3 overs is a little unjust by the Wasp, especially if Shiv's still out there in the next 10 overs. Well, that's a hit in the air, could be a catch, and it is, he's taken it. It's Dejari with the catch, and the eighth wicket falls right on 200. Shian Audrey out, and the Lions now 200 exactly for eight. Bias Dejari. Got underneath it. sheehan has been mishitting a few of the full tosses. This one was another one. This time he's found the fielder. Maybe the Wasp was correct. Wicked falls, just as I mentioned it. That 235 might be a little low. The captain, Shiv Matha, may run out of batting partners. See just how many partnerships Shiv has been involved in. Started with Jacob Blim, 37 runs, then 57 runs with Iqbal, 29 with Avia, short one with Chan Chad, and then 24 and 34. So he's been in two, four, six partnerships so far, put on obviously the bulk of the runs. He's got 88 himself. Came in when the score was 16. They get to 216. Shiv has been out there and been in the partnership to make 200. This is Shahir Yassir coming to the crease now at number 10. Two balls remaining in the 40th. What does he do? Try to just survive the two or rotate the strike to Shiv who can then take another single. The Jari back at long on now. So maybe he's expecting some fireworks from Yassir. Map at long off as well. Then all of a sudden, the Jari's gone screaming in. I think the 
Jason Jari there was figured out there might have been one too many outside the circle and came screaming in before the ball was bowled off camera. Clever cricket. Oh, that stayed low. Did he get an edge? He did get an edge. And that's the end of Yassir for a duck in the ninth wicket falls. Again on 200, the Lions ending at the 40th, right on 200 for nine. Doshi's fourth catch, good one too, he's up to the stumps. Oh yeah, beautiful take. Yes, his head goes back. And he's got to go. The number 11 comes to the crease. Raja Shabazz Mahmood batting at 11. Shiv will need to keep the majority of the strike if they can bat out this 50. Doesn't want to get stranded before his century. He deserves it today, the way he's batted. Now he's got a decision as captain. What does he do? Does he start attacking after two wickets falling in quick succession to Kant? What does he do? Does he hog the strike or does he start to lash out? Maybe not take the singles that are there. Cheyenne Purik, who bowled well but didn't get a wicket back into the attack. Giant. He's bowled five overs, one maiden, none for 19. Back bowling from the softball ground end. Had a good battle, these two earlier. And now back to it again. Shine with the left arm around the wicket. To Shiv Mata. Starts with a good one. Gets a full toss this time and gets through the infield. A diving boost could not cut it off. Manguki again though, and that keeps it to a single. This is an overthrow. There is not. And now the pressure is on. Islanders get their result, get Shiv off strike. He's on 89, but he's at the non-striker's end. Mahmood. Just pushes it to nowhere, no run, dot ball. Can Mahmood survive? Cheyenne Puri's sixth over. Or get Shiv back on strike. Cheyenne again. A little shorter. Oh, he's just cut that down through first or second slip. It's not going to make it to the rope, and they're not interested in a second. Wise decision from Shiv. Didn't even bother turning around to look for a second, even though there was one there. He needs to... See out this delivery and then take a single off the last and hog the strike until this batting innings is done. There's no single there. That's not one they want to take. Protect Mahmood at the non-striker's end. Now he'll be looking for a single and there is a very wide gap on the leg side between square leg and long arm where he can take that single if he can get onto it. It's exactly where it goes. Long arm comes in. Shiv will... Keep the strike. Three runs coming from the 41st. Nine overs remain. The Lions are 203 for nine.
Imrad Ahmed has taken the sleeves off. He's got ball in hand from the Argyle Street end. Four overs so far, one for 13. Gets the full toss, gets delivered. First maximum of the day. Over the rope for six. And Shiv moves to 96. Saw him run bowl a few full tosses to Xi'an and got away with it, including the wicket. No, that was that was Khan. Imran bowls full this time. Gets the treatment to the short boundary. Can't bowl there to Shiv. He's on 96. Short this time. Now going to take the single off the second ball. Tajari keeps it to a single. Interesting. Obviously Shiv has faith in Mahmud. He'll face four more deliveries of the 42nd. Roll the arm, hand over that one I think. Ahmed, but outside off, left alone. Mahmud got the big wicket of Kasim Iqbal breaking that Big partnership between Shiv Matha and Iqbal. Inch behind, caught by Doshi. And the, oh, there was indecision. Shiv will get down for the single. Mahmood was coming, no matter what. Two balls remain. Shiv on 97. Comes down the wicket, goes absolutely massive out of the ground. Shev Mather to bring up his century. That's some style from the captain of the Lions, Shev Mather. 103 off 107. Nine fours, two sixes, none bigger than that one to bring up the century. You could see him coming. He started dancing down the pitch, got onto it, the short boundary to the Argyle Street end, cleared everything. Out of the ground, reserve umpire Hamid Tukul has to bring out a new ball. And the ball has been recovered. New ball. Let's have a look at that six again. What a way to bring up your century. Shiv Matha. Bang. Off and out of the ground. 103, he's continuing, he's on strike, will he take the single here, he should, going to go straight to the fielder, good running, Mahmood took off early, so make sure Shiv retains the strike, a couple of sixes in that over, good one, 15 coming from it for the Lions, they're 218 for 9. Eight overs remain, what does the computer projector say now, 227. Don't think the Wasps has as much confidence in Shiv getting that score up as I do. I think 227 is a bit short. <laughs> Looks like Shine Puri will continue. Six overs, one maiden, none for 22. He'd dearly like to get a wicket and probably the wicket of Shiv to finish this game and innings off. The innings off for the Lions, who decided to bat after winning the toss this morning. Around the wicket as always. And a good start of delivery. Cheyenne. Does bowl into the death overs today. He's got two left after this one and he's allotted eight. Just racking up the dot balls here. Might get through to the fifth delivery of five dots and then take a single. 
anything too rash against Puri could end in a wicket. I'll take the single this time down to long off. Leaving Mahmood to face the final two deliveries. Danny Mapp on screen, the captain of the Islanders. Comes inside the circle for Mahmood. Didn't know much about that one, but dribbles almost directly square. Doshi's had a good day with the gloves. Doing the clean-up work. Foot. Almost hit straight back to shine, but no run available and no run wanted anyway by the Lions. Just the single from the 43rd. The Lions move to 219 for nine. Looks like Dajari coming back into the attack from the Argyle Street end. Pies Dajari, four overs, one for 15. Thought he bowled very well early on. The wicket of Kadaria. That was the one where we thought it was caught by the keeper that bounced to the first slip, but actually took the top of off. It was a great delivery and he's back into the attack. Bowl short to start with. They're not going to take that single. Danny Map running end to end at the moment. Hot hard work out there for the captain. Tries to guide that through slip. Mahmood thought there was a single in it. Shiv says no. Shine Puri was onto it quickly. Short again. Went too wide this time. That's been lofted a long way. It's been hit straight out of the middle, straight out of the ground. Another one goes over the fence. Another maximum in the slot. Bowled a few short, this time pitching it up. Jari gets the shift matter treatment. It was right where he wanted it. Big over the top of the sight screens. Sails over the back fence and another ball required. There it is. Ship's third maximum. The second one where he's hit it out of the ground. He moves to 111 and I said the Wasp was being a little ungenerous saying 227. At 226 now. Still got six and a half overs left. As long as Schiff stays out there, the score could be anything. Short this time. And leaves it alone. Most of these balls this over have been on the short side, except for the one that was in the slot. Short again. This time he whips it over the top of point. Doesn't bother running because it's going to go for four. I think it went for four. Did it, it went all the way to the rope. Yes. Pulled up just after it though. Now they're going to need to find the single. 
finish off the over, which has been another handy one for the Lions. 11 runs so far. Oh, just the wrists just whips it away. Trickles over the rope for four. Expecting. Six overs remain, the Lions 231 for nine. This partnership's now up to 31. It's good at making partnerships, has Shiv been today? A seat in the little bit of shade that's on the park benches. Most of the spectators are under the tents wisely. It's warm, humid. Just after midday, 28.6 degrees. 66% humidity out there. Ship's been out there for most of it as well. 157 minutes he's been out there and he's on strike. It's Cheyenne, the last over, we just saw a string of dots and a single. Seventh. This is Cheyenne's final over, in fact. He's whipped that away beautifully. One bounce into the dugouts for four. More wrist work again. Oh, he's gone the reverse on that one. My mistake. Wow, bringing out all the tricks now with the reverse. And then just eases the dot, got his boundary. Saw the, saw the wrists flick. I thought he'd use the old flick over the top, but he's gone the reverse. That's fantastic. Another dot, we'll expect that single, I'm sure, at the end of this delivery. Islanders were wise, they bring in that leg side long off position, long on, I should say, into mid on, because I'm assuming that's exactly where Shiv is looking to push it. He pushes it on the offside, doesn't really matter, same result, long off back, down he map. Gets a single, Shiv moves to 121 of just 124 deliveries. And Five overs remaining, the Lions, 236. Last wicket partnership, 36 now off 30, including two fours, three sixes. And it's being well managed by Shiv, making sure he's taking all the strike. Dejari, he's gonna bowl again from the Argyle Street end. Got some punishment last over he bowled, 12 runs coming from it. Well, five overs, one for 27. Got the long on, long off in place, but they have not come into play when Shiv has gone hard straight. They've gone out of the ground. Pies to Jari, to Shiv Matter. He's trying that short again, where he was successful in getting the dot balls, but it was very short and it ended up being very wide as well. That one's been punched away behind square. More boundaries. Beautiful. Short, but this time angled into the body instead of outside off. And Shiv's just helped it on its way. One of the longer boundaries. Doesn't matter. Had the fielder out there. That came back in a long way, actually, off the pitch. It's just made Shiv's life a lot easier. Helped it on its way. And now he's going at a runner ball. Strike rate of 100. 125 off 125. 
Goes the slower one. Doesn't matter. Is it big enough to leave the ground? Yes, it is. It's the smallest of the ones that left the ground. And it brings up the 250 in style. Another maximum to Dari. Oh, actually, not yet at the 250 as we got excited and put two sixes in. Maybe we're predicting what the next <laughs> ball is going to be. That was a slow one from Tajari. I thought it might have fooled Shiv into going straight up in the air, but nope. All skill. Puts it up over the side screen. Cleared the back fence by half a metre. Very expensive innings this has been from Shiv. Three of the balls going out of the ground. Still four balls left in the 46th. Shiv on 131. He's helped that one around the corner. That's going to be a boundary, just a matter of how much. And it's a maximum. Our producer was absolutely perfect spot on. We accidentally put back-to-back -back sixes in the system. Turns out that's what happened. The 250 is up with a maximum. That's the one that was out of the back of the hand, went out of the ground. And the next one went out of over the rope for six down behind square. And that one's hit hard, but not he's, he's just pulled it down to long on Matt doing the fielding and Shiv says hang on no need for a single you stay down the other end Mahmood I'm doing my thing 17 runs off the over so far he hasn't got all of that and Danny Matt takes the catch on the ropes Shiv Mather is dismissed for 137. What an innings comes to an end. Off the toe of the bat, Dejari, after taking some stick, finally gets his man. A beautiful innings comes to an end from Shiv Mather. Doesn't, looks up, goes, I haven't quite got all of that. Danny Mapp standing right in front of our commentary position, which is why I went quiet there for a moment. I wasn't going to yell in Danny's ear as he tried to take the catch. Gets the wicket, and the Lions... In the end, putting on 253. A good score for the young under-16 Kowloon Lions. On the back of a man that put on half of them, more than half of the score, 137. Shiv Mather, round of applause from his Lions teammates as he comes off. And that is the innings break, as you can see. We're going to have a quick look at the batting and bowling cards before we take a break ourselves. There's the batting card for the Kowloon Lions under 16 side. Opening the batting today, Chris Butani and Jacob Lim. Lim putting on 22, good partnership with Shiv, who came in at number four. Kadaria was out cheaply. Shiv Matha, look at that, 137 off 129. Massive innings from the captain of the Lions. 12 fours, five sixes. And then throughout the innings, ably supported by a few. Iqbal putting on 25. Gannison putting on 10. And down the end, Mahmoud just did his thing at the other end and got the score up to 253. The bowling for the Hong Kong Islanders. Opening the bowling today, the captain, Danny Mapp. And Dajari, who took the final wicket there, got two for in the end. Also getting two wickets via Mata. And, and Khan getting two for 17. So there we have it at the innings break. 253 on the board for the Lions. The Islanders, they will require 254 for victory. And there's all of the Shiv's partnerships all the way through. The final one, almost the biggest of the day, just falling short. And he scored 49 of them. Uh, what a big innings it was from the captain, Shiv Matha. So do join us at the other side of this innings break for the Hong Kong Islanders run chase needing 254 for victory.
So he took that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I evolved well, mate. Yeah. Okay? And I, I think... Welcome back to Ting Kuang Road Recreation Ground, home of cricket in Hong Kong for the Caravel Foundation. Under the 16s All Stars Series, Aaron Bush with you. Innings break almost over. If you're just joining us, the Lions from Kowloon won the toss, elected to bat, and bat well they did, putting on 253, mostly on the back of their captain, Shiv Mata, scoring a massive 137 of 129. They're up against the Hong Kong Islanders today. They're in green, coming out to the middle with the umpires. The Islanders needing 254 for victory. Looks like James Caldwell's coming out to the crease. I'll just get confirmation on who's joining him. It looks like it will be Preet Mangukia with James Caldwell. Preet Mangukia with James on strike. get confirmation it might be Vera out there I thought I saw the number 25 <coughs> it's 29 which does make it Vera Mata not 25 let me get my eyesight checked Vera Mata on strike Preet Mangukia at the non-strikers end opening the bowling for the Lions it will be Kinesen from the Argyle Street end almost ready to get this Innings chase underway, game one of the Caravel Foundation Junior All-Stars 
Viamata on strike. No slip in place. Looks like a 6-3 offside field. Starts angling it into the body and starts with a very nice dot. Viataka on screen right there. One eased onto the offside, pre very quickly off down to the non striker to the striker's end. Get three for a single. First runs off the bat for the Islanders. He said in the first innings, hot hard work already for game one. Got rain coming on over the weekend. Today the sun is shining. And it's beating down quite warmly. 30.5 at the middle at the moment which is higher than we were expecting. Manguki are on strike. Drops it down on the leg side. No run. It's coming up towards 1 p.m. It's already 30 and a half. We could have the hottest March day in Hong Kong again. Last Sunday for the Premier League, men's and women's, had the hottest day on record in Hong Kong. This one's just guided down to deep third. He'll get off the mark. Hit hard onto the offside. This could go all the way to the ropes. Could be the first boundary. And it is for the Islanders off the bat of Via Mata. Nicely played. A strong offside field. It's a 5-4 offside field now. Fine leg in place. But he pierced the infield beautifully. Nobody out on the ropes. For the Lions in front of square or point. So get it through the infield. And you get runs like that. Umpire McDonald doing the first work of the innings. He's going to finish it off with a single. Good runs coming for the Islanders to start with in this run chase. Six off the over. Seven off the over. Single at the end of the over. Should make that seven. And they still require... 247 runs more in 49 overs. There we are, seven off the over. Three singles and a boundary. Yasir into the attack from the softball ground end. Start things off from the softball ground. This is Shahir Yassir. There's the captain for the Lions. Got himself a century to start with. Shiv Matter, huge innings. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it on replay after the live broadcast. Something to behold. Now his brother's out there. Playing for the Islanders on strike. He's already got a boundary to his name.
Good ball and well played out onto the offside. It's driven well, but very packed offside field. And that's 6-3 offside field for Veer. Deep third, backward point, point cover, short extra cover, mid off. As we saw in the first over, he loves a good cover drive, so they've packed the field that side. This time we'll get runs on the leg side, even though mid on comes around. Keep it today on screen number 17, Shrey Chanchad. Played some Sunday Elite games for Little Si One that I've called before with the gloves on when they were short of players. Preet with a bit of a leading edge out onto the offside. Cheyenne Puri doing the work there and a very tidy over to start with for Yasir. Just the one run coming from it after two. The Islanders are eight for no loss, requiring another 246 for victory. Nation to continue from the Argyle Street end. Beer Mather on strike. Gets that drive going again. That one's not getting through. Full. Straight back to the bowler and cuts it off. Good start for this over for Ganeshan. Just with the dots. Not hit for four. Last over. Getting his line and length right and the field set. Making it tough. Veer to reach the boundary so far. And another good delivery. Three dot balls in a row, building the dot ball pressure. Just out to point, no run. That one is he's just behind point, so get some runs off the bat this over. Guki will fire, face the final delivery of the third. And very tidy over from Ganesha. Just the one run coming from it. Getting that run rate back down. I was at seven to start with. Now three and over. See the dugout. One of the coaches today, Andy Lloyd, having a chat. He's having a chat to James Caldwell.
Yes, here to continue from the softball ground end. Good first over, over pitching this time. Only results in a single. Preeta stands up on that one, pushes it towards the mid-off region. Good start for the Lions with the ball in hand from both ends now, racking up dot balls. Goes the cover drive, but two fielders cut it off. Good delivery. Right, Strays that one. Puts his hand up immediately to apologise to his teammates. Need to be re -bowled. First extra for the Lions. Cut away behind point. That's a beautiful stroke. Four runs off the bat for Preet Bangukia. And he gets his first boundary. Breaks the string of dots. That one that went down leg for a wide. Just maybe eased the pressure. This time. The left arm goes outside off. Preach just helped himself to that one. That packed offside field, but hit it fine enough behind backward point. Neither the backward point or deep third fielder could cut it off. One ball remaining in the fourth. A bit of a leading edge, inside edge onto the leg side. The attacker does the fielding and a dot to end with, but some runs coming that over for the Islanders. Six, in fact, and now 15 for no loss after four. And another 239. Looks like the nation will continue from the Argyle Street end. Very tidy second over. Just one run coming from it, now into his third. Right on the toes, Veer pushes that very straight, so work to do, ended up being mid-off, coming around and cleaning it up at mid-on. That's a wide mid-on fielder. And Sammy Ulla also coming around, but Shiv. It's Shiv, I should say. Got my team sheets upside down. Let's put the lines there. There we go. Makes a lot more sense. Because Shiana Audrey is the one at mid on. And I couldn't find a number 24. Right. The nation starting well. This time, bit side outside off, so just dribbles down. Deep third and another single. As long as the Islanders keep this run rate under control, it doesn't get too high. Watch out this first power play. No losing wickets and they'll be right in this game. Extras will help. A few extras in the Islanders bowling innings, 32 in total. Pushing that score up over 250 for 
the Lions. That's a much better line and length adjusted straight away. Full Yorker length, hit straight back. Thought about a run, decided to just take the dot and see off the Ganeshan over. Five done. Islanders 18 for no loss. They require another 236. Shiv Matha there with the cap in hand. Captain for the Lions running end to end. Standing next to his bowlers as captains do. Imparted vice. Yassia to continue. Two overs, none for seven. He's been good with the left arm. Preet also got himself a boundary last over against Yassia. This time, hit it forward of point. Can't get through that infield. As you can see as the camera pans, it's packed with grey and purple shirts of the Lions. Protecting that offside. Still a 6-3 offside field. Oh, he's bowled with no ball. Free hit coming up. Over steps. And it's been crunched straight. That's going to be four. Can move the field. Everybody inside the circle in front of square and point. And that's the clever stroke here at Ting Kwong Road Recreation Ground. Straight over the bowler's head and down to the side screen for four. Man Cookie giving himself some room. Think of that. Moves the front foot out of the way. Crunches it straight and gets his second boundary. That's actually got bad on that one. It's got to go down as a chance. Chan Chad with the gloves moving down to these legs side. Yeah, definitely bat. Umpire keeps the arms down. Tough chance as it went down leg. Oh no. He's changed. He's now calling it a leg by. So it wasn't a catch down side. <laughs> well, I'm almost positive I heard bat on that one, but. Leg by in the books. Veer on strike. That one strays down leg. That will be wide. Gets down for the cover drive. Can't pierce the field, but will get through for a single. Good running. Audrey at cover. Back quite deep towards the edge of the circle. So the single's there if it doesn't fly to him. Now Preet Mangukia back on strike. And that's a big top head straight up in the air. Oh my goodness, he's got it. I thought there was no chance of getting there. A captain's catch. 
Shiv gets the catch and the first wicket falls. It's Preetman Gukia out for 10. The Islanders 26 for 1. I thought this was going to be one of those that just falls in no man's land. Shiv has come in a mile. Take that catch down low. And Preetman Gukia, while it wasn't a great stroke, could probably count himself a little unlucky. Not many in under 16s would have taken that catch, but Shiv Mather does. And Preet's got to go. Coming out to the crease now, Rishi Bhutani. One of the got the two brothers batting out there with their brothers in the Lions team. Fear Mather and Rishi Bhutani in green. And of course you just saw Shiv Mather, brother of Veer. And Krish is out there as well for the Lions. It was the end of the over. So Rishi will be down the non-striker's end. Veer on strike on 11. Again, cannot pierce that inside, offside field. That's the beauty of the All-Stars format. You can have brothers against brothers, not just teammates against teammates. That's when the talent flows through the team and the family. You end up having multiple members of the same family here in Hong Kong, making the All-Stars. Not just that, you've got players whose brothers have gone through the All-Star system before when we see Will Walsh play on Sunday, the captain of the Tigers, his brother, Charlie, played All-Stars. Rishi with a very nice drive straight to his brother to start with. Rishi to Krish, Bhutani to Bhutani. We saw that a bit when Shiv was batting, quite often hitting it to Veer. run there. They swarm on it again, the Lions. More dot balls. Bowling well. Nashan to his field. And a similar result, finish off the seventh. Just the one run coming from it. The Islanders, 27 for one. They require another 2-2-7 two, two, for victory. Yassir to Veer and gets a easy single on the leg side. As we said, plenty of room out there. Got a Veer Thacker at square leg. It's the one fielder at a wideish mid on. They're the only two players to look after the leg side in front of square. Now Rishi Bhutani on strike. Thought about a run. No run on that offside. Sheehan Aldrich doing the fielding. A little adjustment for Yassir now at the end of that last over. 
Gunnison has bowled four. In this format, you're only allowed to bowl a maximum of eight, so perhaps we'll see a change in bowling from the Argyle Street end. We'll see. This over's going, and Rishi will get off the mark as he picks the gap between backward point and point. Matter on strike. Stands up and punches it to his brother. I'm sure Veer would like to uh, get himself a sentry today as well, so at least when he goes home, he, his older brother won't have skiting rights. It's looking good so far, 13 off 25. Tries to get the gap through. The offside cannot, but will get a single. And diving. Krish Bhutani. Okay, you got Krish and Shiv back on screen just a second ago. And Rishi and Veer on screen now in green. Another tidy over from Yasir, though. Only one ball remaining in the eighth. Three runs from it. be a wide plus one. Gonna change it up here. Left arm around. Straight that down leg. There's a fine leg on the ropes, so Kadaria doing the work down there, keeping it to a single. Viet will retain the strike. With six runs coming from the eighth. The Islanders are 33 for one. The worm's very even there. In fact, you'd say the Islanders are slightly ahead with only one wicket down. But it's, the worm isn't factoring in the shiv factor. It kind of does at the end there, especially when he started smashing sixes out of the ground. So that's why I say the Islanders won't want to let this run rate get too far advanced. But also, I think the WASP projector computer is a bit harsh at the moment. 8% chance for the Islanders. I think they're much closer than that. Even though 2.53 is a big total from the Lions. Thought we might have a change in bowling from the Argyle Street end. We are not. Ganesh is going to bowl his fifth over, leaving him at a maximum of three overs after this. And they're going to run on the arm and do so safely. Rishi gets a big edge through first slip, races away to the boundary for four. Wasn't far away from Chanchad's gloves, but a slip in place, it certainly would have been a wicket, but no slip in place. Watch the replay. Now, yeah. would have hit first slip in the chin. A bit of bottom hand there as well, but only one bounce to Sheehan. The edge is not forcing any change in field from the captain, Shiv Matha, keeping two down on the ropes behind square and point. This one is four to point. Another dot. That fluky boundary already this over, so Islanders will be happy. That 
run rate up. Now up over four. Under the pads. Again, Sheehan into the action. And the dot to finish off the over. Five coming from it. Nine done. One over left in the first power play. The Islanders 38 for one. Ramir Singhal coming into the attack from the softball ground end. First change in bowling we're seeing today. The Lions rolling the changes. Almost positive there'll be a change from the Argyle Street end as well. You might have picked it up on the effects mic. I heard somebody yelling out, need a helmet for the next over from this end. So Maybe a slow bowler coming on from the Argyle Street end. Almost set. Single to Veer. Gets it around just behind square. Thacker does the fielding. That's hit very fine. Kadaria in his fine leg position again on the ropes. Keeps it to a single. Shorter this time. Hits it in front of square. Some work to do for Thaka. Also screaming in from mid on. So mid on will pick that one up. Get back for two. There's a very fast Muhammad Abuzar Ali getting around there. And that one they chipped in the air for a while. Mahmoud didn't carry. Two balls remaining in the tenth. End of the first power play coming up. More fielders can head outside the circle after that. Good angle there from Ramir, but Ali, who did that fast work in the outfield, cut off the four earlier, gets around, keep it to a single. These two forming a little partnership now. Yamata and Rishi Butani up to 17. One's gone straight to Thacker, direct hit, and that was out, I would suggest. A diving effort from Veer wouldn't have saved him. Unfortunately, Veer only had one stump to aim at. In the end, Veer gets through safely. End of the over. There's the partnerships, now up to 18. We saw in that first innings, S. Matha in just about every single partnership, and so far, his brother Veer. Putting together two nice little partnerships, one with Preet Mangook here until he hold out to Shiv. And we are going to get a change in bowling. Looks like Sheehan's going to have a bowl from the Argyle Street end. I haven't seen him bowl much this season, but last year I loved watching him bowl in 
either the Junior Series or the All-Star Series. And we always say it's a dangerous end for the slower bowlers to bowl from, the Argyle Street end, but obviously Shiv has great faith in Shiad, as he should. Left arm up. Going to start around the wicket, it looks like. And the power play's done. They can have more out. They've got deep square leg. And if I'm not mistaken, that's it. They could have a lot more out. And they've got everybody in instead in catching positions. Eight fielders inside the circle, only the one outside. And another good delivery. Comes down the wicket this time. Gets a leading edge out to point. One thing, and a run on the arm. It could be a run out. It's over the head of the keeper in the end. Nation with too much power. He's given four overthrows away. Got three for a single, plus five overthrows. I There's a discussion it hadn't crossed by the time. And they get the single plus the four overthrows and that four overthrows brings up the 50 for the Islanders. It's unfortunate for Sheehan because all better than going for six. Bit of over exuberance from Ganeshan. Chanchad didn't have a chance to grab it. That's got a big leading edge, but there's nobody there on the leg side. It already changed it. Put that player out deep. Get through for the single. 11 done. The 50 brought up that over. They're 51 for one. The Islanders requiring another 203 for victory. Ramir to continue from the softball ground end. Onto the toes, strays down the leg though. Good take there from Chanchat. Oh, that's an edge, and he's got it with one glove. The finger goes up, then it's edge, and he's got to go. The second wicket falls for the Islanders. It is Rishi Bhutani, and they're 52 for two. I'm not sure Chad, Chad was 100% ready for that one. He's just stuck the right mid out, and it's stuck. Bang. <laughs> Easy as you like. He's like, I, did, I could do this all day. No problems. What a catch. Well done, Trey Chanchat. Gets the catch to dismiss Rishi Bhutani. And now the Islanders have lost two coming to the crease. Now, it's Bisht, the man that did a lot of work in the field. Joining Veer. Up to 
Atav Bish on strike. Single getting his first wicket. Oh, it's got through. I think it's hit bat on pitch there. Chan Chan thought it was bat on ball. Good Yorker. Ramir bowling nicely at the moment. Bish just watches that one. Continuing with that nice tight offside field. 6-3. Deep third, backward point, point cover, extra cover, mid off. Again, very close to the bat. This time it was the bowler thinking maybe there was an edge. Nothing doing but another dot ball. Oh, that was very close again. Get the feeling this one might be very close to being on the stumps from Ramir. See if he can't get through that gap before Bist gets set. And that's hit him on the toes. No interest. Maybe. Going to call a leg by. Yes, he is. So I'll have a look at that one. Maybe going down leg. It was on the full, I think. But maybe just the angle. Save Bist. And they get through for a leg by. So two runs coming from the over. But also a very nice wicket to sing up to get rid of Rishi Butsani. And the island is 53 for two, requiring another 201 in 38 overs. Sheehan to continue from the Argyle Street end, around the wicket. Pushes it, pushes it straight to the field. Kadarian out to the midfield on the offside instead of deep third. Just going down leg but got tied up in the pads of Bist so survive. Didn't get up wide on that one. Lucky for Sheehan. Only the one player outside the circle for Sheehan's bowling. And he gets the wicket straight through the gate. And Sheehan gets his first. Third wicket to fall for the Islanders. They're 53 for three. Class of Sheehan coming through again. Floated it in there. Pinch just on or outside off and drifted straight in onto the off stump. He's played all over the top of it. He's got to go. He's out for a duck. And the Islanders now in a bit of strife. 53 for three. And it looks like the captain's coming to the crease. Yes, it is. Danny Mapp for the Islanders coming out to bat at number five. Hot work out there, so... This player's not fasting, taking a drinks break. And again, much like when he's 
brother was batting. Veer is at the moment. I'm gonna watching players come and go, partners come and go. Shift came in at number four and partnered everybody right to the end. Veer has opened the batting. So far, it's seen three of his partners depart. Now the captain's out there, Danny Mapp. Much like Shiv, perhaps he needs a captain's knock. Get his Islanders home. Big total still requiring 201 more runs for victory. Oh, that's a big appeal for LBW. Immediately shook off by umpire McDonald. Go to the replay. Oh, yeah, drifting down leg. Took off a little bit. Matt watches that onto the bat, and that will be the first wicked maiden of the game and of the Caravel Foundation under 16's All Star Series. Well done to Sheehan Aldry getting a wicked maiden. What an over it was. After 13, the Islanders remain 53 for 3, still 201 away from victory. Last 12 deliveries from the Lions has resulted in two wickets and only one run. And some tidy bowling from the bowlers coming on after the openers. And again continuing. Ramir from the softball ground end. Betts wants to say a bit low. He feels like he's probably due another wicket as well. His last over. Got a wicket after the wide and then went five, four dot balls before a leg by at the end. That was another good delivery. I mean the clamps on here at the Lions. Pushing the run rate down under four. Pushing the run rate required up. And taking steady wickets. going to be runs there, it's straight, so Veer can get through for a single. The Lions in their batting, after 13 overs, were also three wickets down, but they were 15 runs ahead at the moment as the runs have dried up for the Islanders. Do a worm comparison at the end of this over. He's wrapped on the pad, finger went up immediately. No doubt in umpire's mind. And that's the end of the captain, Daddy Map, also out for a duck. Four wickets down now for the Islanders. They're 54 for four. All sorts of strife now for the Islanders. As Veer Matha loses another partner. To the crease comes the keeper, Agam Doshi. Good work with the gloves. How many catches did he end up with in the end? Four? Three or four? Go do a count. Four catches for Doshi with the gloves on today. Now he's got bat in hand with smaller gloves and needing to do some damage with the bat in hand. As all of a sudden, wickets are falling regularly. That would be now two runs and three wickets in the last 16 deliveries. 
Mia, with two to his name. Very tall Doshi, getting bat down in time on that one. Final delivery of the 14th. And it, oh, it's a no ball. I was going to say it was a beautiful Yorker length outside off, but the overstep let Doshi have a free hit. Just what a new batter desires. Comes down, wild swing. They'll get through for a bye. Don't think there was anything on it. Bye it is. He gets down, he'll retain the stroke, but yet to get off the mark. And after 14, the Islanders are 56 for four. Just 198 runs behind, and they were doing fine on the worm, you can see, until dot, dot, dot. Wicket, wicket, wicket. has really pegged it back now. Lines well in control. Oh, the Wasp computer projector's been very harsh. It's a 0% chance for the Islanders. There's always a chance, especially with Veer out there, but computers don't have a heart. Sheehan Aldri to continue from the Argyle Street end. Got a wicket in his previous over, a wicket maiden, of course. I have the new batter on strike to target that left arm all the dogs around the wicket Veer <laughs> Thacker doing a lot of work there on the leg side they've got a 5-4 field it's one out on the rope same field set up with only one outside the circle. That one's been dragged down a leg. It's at least one plus a wide. That is all it is, but two more in the books for the Islanders. Now they've pushed mid on back down to long on. That was full. Almost popped it straight back to Sheehan, but Doshi will now get off the mark. You can notice something there. You can see Doshi on screen. I'm not sure if it's by design or what. But his Doshi on strike. He's yet to get off the mark. That was Veer, of course. But Doshi's pants. And he seemed to come down to his calf. I've never seen that much ankle on a cricket player before. Maybe that's just his style. Oh my goodness, that stayed low. Almost went below his cuff. It was that low, that delivery. It didn't bounce much. Again, just trying to maybe get it to turn back in, but drifting down leg. There we go. Not sure if that's style or he's just too tall for the under-16s uniform. He's a tall lad. Anyway, he's looking to get off the mark, but getting pinned down at the moment by Sheehart. Not going to take a single there. Final delivery of the 15th. And Doshi just sees it off. It's back to his crease. Another tidy over from Sheehan. 15th done. Four coming from that over. And the Islanders are 60 for four. Far away from a drinks break. Maybe after the next over, I think. 
depending on how quickly it's bowled. Going at a much faster rate at the moment than the Islanders did. They were a bit slow, but they managed to bowl the Lions all out. And it was for a massive total of 253. Raja Shabazz Mahmood into the attack. with the right arm leg spin coming in from the softball ground end. Via Matheron Strunk still out there on 27. Here we looking to get through to the drinks break without any more damage done to the Islanders. Four down already. There's Raja. Gives some space. There's nobody out there. You can forget about that one. It's going over the ropes for four. Bit of a loosener to start with from Raja. A bit short. Veer is going to eat that up. One fielder on the leg side out on the ropes. It's a deep square. So Veer has just gone through mid wicket and they're making the adjustment now. Putting more onto the leg side. Veer Thacker going back out to the deep mid wicket boundary. Shiv bringing himself into a short mid wicket catching position. And all of a sudden it's a 5 4 leg field. And it's a no ball. Oh, he's been caught off a no ball. Free hit coming up. Well, that could be disastrous for the Lions. He finds the gap. He's going to get a boundary as well to rub salt into the wound. Gets caught by his own brother off no ball. And then smashes a four off the free hit. It was masterful captaincy from Shiv. He moved Veer out into the deep mid-wicket boundary. Put himself in short mid-wicket. Veer's crunched it straight to him. Rutgers has overstepped. Okay, continue on. No runs there, which is handy because the two legal deliveries have gone for nine before that. Dot ball valuable. Let's that one go outside off. It's a quicker one from Raja. Raja. Shabazz Mahmood in again. This one goes to Shiv. Not on the full this time. That's lofted as well. One bounce. Didn't carry to Kasim Iqbal. Eventful over. Four no ball, caught, not out, four, then four dot balls. A lot of fours going on. See if we can pull up the replay of that no ball. And it's not going to play, but we're going into the drinks break, as I suggested. 16 overs done. Ireland is 69 for four. They still require another 185. For victory, quick look at the batting card for the Islanders. Four wickets down now. The only man sticking around. The opener, Veer Matter, not out on 35. Preet started well until he skied one. And Shiv Matter taking an absolute screamer to dismiss him. Butani caught behind by Chan Chad. And Bish bowled by Sheehan. And an LBW to Danny Matt, the captain, also out for a duck out there. Doshi yet to get off the mark. We'll have a quick look at the bowling card as well. For the Lions, they've used five bowlers already. The two opening bowlers, Ganesha and Yasser. Yasser getting a wicket. And then Singar getting two for nine off his three. Thank you very much, Sheehan. Also in the wickets with one for 11. There we have it. We're in the drinks break. Join us on the other side for the rest of this innings chase.
It is the Caravelle Foundation Under 16's All Star Series here at Tinkwong Road Recreation Ground. Welcome back to Ting Kwong Road. Drinks break done and you'd say the Lions, they're well on top here. Got the Islanders 69 for four. Sheehan continuing from the Argyle Street end. Drifts onto the pans and Doshi yet to get off the mark. Till he does. Keep an eye on those risky ankles he's got out there. I like it. Got his pads covering them. Wrapped on the pads, the finger goes up, Doshi's got to go, he's out for a duck as well. Another wicket falls for the Islanders, they're 69 for 5. Sheehan gets his second. Well, it was pitching right there on middle and leg. Big appeal, Sheehan thought it was out, umpire McDonald thought it's out, Doshi. May not have thought it was out, but he is out and he's got to go. Halfway down now, five wickets. Hamza Khan coming to the crease for the Islanders at number seven. And Veer sees another partner fall. having a little chat to Avir, those two playing for the HKCC Optimist under 15s together. Teammates during the season on opposite sides for the All-Stars. Hamza Khan out there, captain of Link Centre in the domestic league. A bit shorter this time from Sheehan. It's going to be runs here. This time we've seen some not off the bat of Veer Matha for a while. Get back for two. And 
comes forward. Looking good at the moment, Count, the captain, as we said, of Link Centre. One of the coaches today floating through the commentary position, Asif Hussain. Asif, you're captain of the Islanders or the Lions today? Coach of the Lions, I should say. Obviously, a bit old to be playing under 16s. Oh, there we go. He's the coach of the Lions, so he's a happy coach at the moment. Coach now thinks, after I said captain by mistake, thinks he should be out there having a game. But he doesn't need to because his Lions are looking good. Got five wickets already. Inside the first 20 overs. Nigel Chavez to continue with the leg spin from the softball ground end. Veer on strike. I haven't seen him on strike for a while. It's a full toss to start with, but misses out. Hits it down to mid-off. The direct hit, but he was safely home. Chris Brutani there with the rocket arm. Khan on strike now. What Via Matha needs now is somebody to stay out there with him. Former partnership. Could be the man. Could be Hamza Khan. Looking good, leaving alone the balls. Outside off. Drives a little uppish. No chance of carry. outside off no battle involved quick tidy over this one went for nine in his first but this one just the single to veer so far Khan eating up the dot balls and that'll be another one to finish off very tidy over for Mahmoud one run coming from it after 18 the island is 72 for five requiring another 182 for victory Lions winning the toss, selecting to bat. Good decision. Well, they bowled, they all bowled out in the 46th over the Lions. And there was one man that never looked like getting out until right at the end. That was Shiv Matha, who just hold out trying to score extra runs at the end. He's got 137. That's why 253 on the board for the Lions. She aren't continuing. He's got two. This is his fifth over. Two wickets now for 14. If you haven't joined us for the whole commentary, the rules for the All-Stars, the Caravelle All-Stars, eight overs maximum. And this will push Sheehan up into his five. It'll leave him three after this one. They've only used the five bowlers so far, the Lions. Good delivery. Goes the sweep. Hits it straight behind square. They have the fielder lurking at backward square, waiting. So he tries it on the offside this time. Oh, there's a mix-up. Someone's got to go. Should be out. Is it out? No, he gets back safely. The throw was a little wide. Big mix-up there. And in the end, Khan had sacrificed himself for Veer. As Veer was coming, Khan had not. 
You'll see Veer coming down. He's off. And there was a mix-up in the middle. And Khan wisely sacrificed himself and still managed to get back in the end. So no damage done to the Islanders. It was wise cricket. Throw was a little wide into Xi'an, which is why the run out wasn't affected. Veer gets another single, so Khan's back on strike. No one's got good bat on this one. Is it going to go all the way? A lot of work in the outfield. Diving effort. Gets there. Is that connection out there? Big effort running around. No, it's not. It's Jacob Blimp. He came a mile around. He was a deep mid wicket. That went behind square. Brilliant effort in the field. Sucking in the big <laughs> breaths now after that effort. But good job keeping it to two. Five off the over 19 done. Islanders are 77 for five. They need 177 for victory. Just lack of wickets is a problem for the Islanders at the moment. Run rate's okay. Veer's still out there. Raja continuing from the softball ground end. A bit more indecision between Khan and Mata. This time they decide to stay put. Quick tidy over, last over from Mahmoud. It's going to be a run here. Picks the gap. Sheehan having to dash back to get that one. Get through for the single. Calm back on strike. Slip put in place now. Captain putting himself in there. Ship matter. Faster. Crunched over the head of mid-wicket. And nobody's going to get there, it looks like. Are they? Are they? Oh, brilliant fielding. Just got there in time. Kasim Iqbal doing some brilliant work on the other side. We saw Jacob Lim last over doing similar. This time, great work in the outfield. Kasim Iqbal, full. Khan just pushes it forward of square and again into the action. It's Yasser, in fact, out there. Yasser out on the boundary. Behind square, they're going to run. Chance on the arm, and good running it is. Kadaria there behind square. And that's the end of the over. Five runs coming from it. Again. 20 overs done, 30 remain. Islanders 82 for five, needing another 172. Binoculars out to see who was out on the boundary. 16 and 18 look very similar on the back. It is Yasir that was doing the hard yards out on the boundary that over. He's now the one behind square. Cutting off the sweep shot. She comes in again around the wicket. No ball. Free hit coming up. Umpire McDonald arm out. That's lofted. Has it got enough on it? Yes, it has. It smashes into our commentary position over the top of Cassie McBale's head. Big maximum. He saw his brother do this, and now Veer's getting in on the action. Well, 
Yep, over the head, and this time he's crunched it through the offside. He's going to get a boundary as well. Six, four. And that's the 50 up for Veer. Brings it up in style. Fifty off fifty-six. Dugout hasn't realised yet. After smashing ten runs off two balls, moves to fifty-one. Now the dugout has seen that the score's updated. Veer's got his fifty. Fifty-one now. Oh, Khan's managed to get that through the gap. Get back for two. Yeah, I didn't see. They've got a leg slip in place, and he's put that between keeper and leg slip. Very fine, getting two runs for it. That one's a dot. Good runs this over for the Islanders as they move towards the three-figure mark. Goes the sweep. Very square. Through the umpire. Scuffles out of the way. Jacob Blimp keeps it to a single. 15 runs coming from the 21st. The Islanders 97 for five, requiring another 157. Continuing with Roger Mahmoud from the softball ground end. Three overs, none for 15 so far. Leg slip in place for Shian, and they got a conventional slip in place for Raja. Yeah. Khan on strike. He's been getting down on that knee a lot. That's why they've got the sweeper out there at deep mid wicket. Gets the single. Again, Khan gets down, that's in the air, a diving effort to the left, couldn't grab it, so it's going racing down. Can't get all the way there, it's Yassi again. Hundred runs up now with that two for the Islanders. Said in a partnership needed to be formed with Veer. Could it be Khan? So far, yes. 32 run partnership now off 33. Just what the Islanders want. And all of a sudden, the computer's not being so mean. 2% chance. That's it in front of square this time. I see we'll cut it off for a single. Keeping the runs flowing. These two. If it's not going to the boundary, then get the singles two here and there. Veer giving some room. They've put two out there now for 
Oh, and that's bounced through, bobbled through. Unfortunate fielding, a bit of a bounce right at the end. And Veer gets a boundary to end it. Good over again for the Islanders. Nine coming from it. Got the body down and it's just bobbled up into the ribbon, bounced over the line. And all of a sudden the worm's back. Looked like the Islanders' worm had died and been eaten by that little bird that was eating worms earlier, but it's back, heading towards the sun, heading towards that purple line, and we got game on as we head towards the halfway mark. 22 overs done, 28 overs remain. Change in bowling, looks like a Viet Thacker. Is it coming into the attack? Indeed it is, from the Argyle Street end. when he came out to bat. Big fan of the 8 for 52 podcast. I was talking to him at an under 15s game last week. He says he still listens in. Just hasn't sent a message for a while. Does like sending an Instagram DM. And anyone can. 8 for 52. 8 slash 52 in numbers podcast. Find us on Instagram, Spotify and Apple podcast. Attacker. Good start. Being Ramadan here. Well, everywhere in the world, there's plenty of boys out there fasting at the moment, including the one on strike. He's popped that up. He's found the gap, though. Krish Britani back on the circle. Wasn't ever a chance. Hamza Khan out there is fasting while also putting together this partnership with Veer. Hot, hard work during Ramadan. Premier League game I called last Sunday. Ten of the 11 players for... PACC were fasting. And the weather's all of a sudden got nice and warm in Hong Kong. Khans look good. Supporting role for Veer out there. Another good delivery. No run available. Racking up the dots. Veer Thacker to start with. No bat on that one. Couldn't get it away. So Veer starts with the maiden. Well bowled. And 23. Overs are done. The Islanders 106 for 5. Just looking at the temperature, all around Hong Kong today, the highest temperature is 31.3, and here in Kowloon City, it's 30.7, so it's almost the hottest place in all of Hong Kong. And it is the hottest place apart from the new territories. Hot, hard work for the first game of the Caravel Foundation Under-16 All-Star Series. We've got the Under-13 Series starting tomorrow, of course. Join us from 9.30 a.m., 40 over format. Back live, Veer Matha after bringing up his century, a half century. Looking to bat out this innings. He's been out there since the beginning, opening the batting. Big leading edge out behind point and a misfield, which means that's going to go to the boundary. Another boundary for Veer. This time on the back of a misfield, unfortunately, for the Lions, but Veer will take them any way they come. That's his sixth four. Slashed away behind point. Straight through the field. Came forward to that one, Veer. Let's just say he didn't get any bat on it. Well, past his pad, past his bat, and been stopped by a body part. He's good to go. That's good delivery from Roger, and so was that one. He's into his fifth over as well. Get to get a wicket. He has looked dangerous. 
he's got better every over he's bowled. A big leading edge out through point this time. Work to do in the field. Can they cut it off? Two converging, two collide. They're both down on the ground. The ball hasn't actually made it to the rope, so looks like there could be an injury here. Hopefully he's okay. It's Jacob Lim down on the ground. It's Kasim Iqbal colliding as they both came towards the rope. They stopped it going to the boundary, but... Medical team coming across now. Clutching at his shoulder. Hopefully he's okay. I'll have a slight delay in play with a few drinks. Watch the replay of this one. Both of them going full speed. Just what you want to see in the field. But collision right on the ropes, and it could even be rolling over the ropes. I saw Jamie Atkinson from KCC one day land on the ropes, and that damaged him. It can be very thick ropes, and if you roll over them on your ribs. It looks like we're going to take a quick break here and a drinks break. Coaches are coming out and waiting for Jacob to be attended to. I think he's back up, is he? No. He's still there on the sidelines, but he's upright. He's going to go sit down in the dugout. He's yeah, holding his... I think he's holding his ribs, so... I wonder if he's with the collision rolled over the ropes at the same time, put pressure on it, because that can hurt. And looks like we're set to go. Uh, spare fielder will be sent out for the Lions. He's definitely up and about and, ch and chatting. You can see him over there in the dugout. There he is, out the back. The medical team now in front of him. But he's got a smile on his face. Looks like he'll be okay. Just go get some ice. We can get underway here shortly with one ball remaining in the 24th. All right, the batter's back out, gloves on. They're ready to go. Final delivery of the 24th. Feed just watches that one go through, and that's the end of the over. Six coming from it. Islanders 1-1-2 one, one, for five, requiring another 142 for victory. Nearing the halfway mark, 26 overs to go. Let's have a look at the worm. See how still slightly behind. The runs are still coming. The run rate required still not over six, only five and a half. These two stay out here until the 40th over and this game is on. That said, bowling Again, from the Argyle Street end is Avir Thacker, who bowled a maiden last time. He had a roll of the arm. Sounds like an eternity ago, but it was only seven balls ago. A delay. He's racked up his seventh dot ball in his spell. This one's full, though. That should be dispatched, but it could be a catch even. One bounce. Anishan out there on the boundary. Patrolling a deep square leg, kept it to a single. Thacker got away with that one, very full. I said it before, and I'll say it again. You won't want to bowl the same delivery to Veer. He doesn't. It's a good one. It's in the air. Oh, just to the outside 
on the stretched arms and Mum Wood goes down out to the sweeper deep extra cover and a single that was a better delivery get it on the pitch and then the bottom hand comes into play but was far too far to the left of Raja Khan back on strike floats this one so he comes down makes it a full toss but Going to get a run on the misfield there from Chris. Bounced up into his shins. Just dealing in singles. A boundary here would be handy for the Islanders. And dots or ones a win for the Lions. here on 63 waits for it to pitch and they're going to get a run on the misfield as well getting a bit hot and tired out there the Lions as we move towards the halfway mark it happens in the long format 50 overs is a long game for anyone including under 16s gets the full toss comes to the pitch of the ball nicely work to do for Ganesha gets down he has a little bobble Allowing them to get through for two. Did save the boundary, of course. Six runs off the over. There he is. He got down. He was running around very quickly, but managed to stop the boundary, that's for sure. And six runs off that over. Halfway mark. 25 overs done. 118. You can see the Manhattan purple. The Lions batting. They went big early, and then they went really big at the end. A good little middle session there. You can see for the Islanders in green. That's Veer pushing his way along, going at just under a runner ball, 95.5 strike rate. He'll be on strike, and looks like we'll have a change in bowling. It is Kaderia into the attack from the softball ground end. Right arm, medium pace. We haven't seen a bit of pace for a while from the Lions. So. See some right arm, medium. Means the ball will be coming out of the bat quicker. Runs might be flowing, but also chance of caught behinds. They've got a deep square leg, deep fine leg, deep third. Avir's down here near us. Uh, deep cover there, the four out on the ropes at the moment. eases it into a cover position get through for the single Khan back on strike on 19 50 run partnership all of a sudden just like that 50 run partnership between these two tidy bowling from the Lions only one extra in that 50 run partnership that's a good delivery Shoulders, arms as it goes over the top of the stumps. Just like us in commentary, the computer projectors now up to 4% after writing the Islanders off and saying 0% not long ago. Got more chance than that, I think. Dabs at it outside off. It's quite wide. Just a dot in the end. Anderson there, point. Cover, extra cover, mid off. And catching positions on the offside. That one goes to the extra cover. Bounces off the knee. We're getting some bad bounces off the turf area. It's on quite a central wicket today. Perhaps a little closer towards the training nets than Ting Kwong Road. Slight delay. Shoelace needs to be retied. Kadaria does his own work and ready to go. Two balls remaining in the 26th. Another dot. Tidy, tidy over to start with from Kadaria.
short. Had time onto this one card, so he's put it behind square. She had doing the fielding from deep square. And just two runs coming from the 26th. 120 in the books for the Islanders with five wickets down, needing another 134. Sort of approaching that halfway mark of the runs required. Game still on, that's for sure. These two stick it out. Make it through to the 40th over. Anything can happen. And there's the partnerships. And look who's been in for all of them down the left-hand side. V. Mata. Putting together all the partnerships as his teammates have come and gone and now a good one. 51 runs. Comes a Khan, who is on strike. Veer starts with another dot. So you've got 2.1 overs, one made and none for six. Faster one, that one. Keeps it to another dot. Let's go have a look how many dots he's racked up in his 2.2 overs. Not many last over. That's a full toss. That's not going to be a dot. The sweeper will... Pick up, cut off. We run you out there. We'll bring Veer back on strike. We've got that deep mid wicket. Long on. Krish Bhutani down here near our commentary position. That one's lofted on the offside. It's going to beat three players here, I think. It's going to be very close. Oh, good diving effort. The captain there, again, showing why he's the leader. Full pace dives, flicks backwards as he rolls over. And get two, and definitely save two. Room this time on the leg side. A lot of work to do for Ganesha out there. You can't cut that one off. That's a boundary, a bit loose and short there from Avia. And Avia takes full advantage. Fine, that was the captain of the Lions on the effects, Mike, saying one wicket, this game's over. I think if they get the man on strikeout, he could be right. But his brother, anything can happen. At the moment, he's looking in fine form, just as Shiv was earlier today. In fact, I missed the stat, but now the Mata brothers have scored over 200 today alone. After 27, the Islanders won 28 for 5. Yep. Shiv scored 137. Veer now on 72. In my count, that's 209 runs between the two of them. Now I'm going to ask Sachin, sitting next to me as the producer, how many runs have been scored in total today? 253 plus 128. 307. 381 runs scored today, and 209 of them have been scored by somebody named Matha. And here we go. Kaderia again from the softball ground end. Oh, that stayed low again. We've seen a little bit of an even bounce. It's going to be buys. Just the single, though. Well cut off. Long on the fine leg, and deep third coming around to combined. Feel like perhaps one of those deliveries is the one that might get Veer. Stays low, cuts back in. Wraps on the paddle, gets through the gate. Arms a Khan back on strike though, going along nicely on 21. It's a bold leave. Especially given how low the last one kept, but safely done. Gets down on the front foot. Straight to cover. Right. 
Kadaria has been very, very tidy. Two runs off the first over. Just the bye so far this over. Wrapped on the pads. Yeah. At no point did Kadaria think that was out. And that's because it was going a fair way down the leg. Good decision from the umpire. And Kadaria knew that. The rest of the team was appealing. He turned around and half appealed. But his heart wasn't in it because he knew it was going down leg. But it was a good delivery all the same and another dot in the books. Toe of the bat onto the leg side. They'll go through for a quick single. Ali in. One and a bye this over. Two singles the last time. He bowled Kadaria. One ball remaining in the 28th. I'll get through for a single and Veer will tame the strike. Got another tidy over. Only the three runs coming from it. 28 done. The Islanders 131 for five. They need another 123 for victory. Partnership now 62 as the parents continue to come down and just supporters of cricket in Hong Kong watching the Caraval Foundation All-Star Series. We're on eight days in a row, I believe, from today. Good Friday right through to next Friday. Seven of the eight games here at Ting Kuang Road. Only the under-13s final won't be here. That'll be at Po Kong next Thursday. Comes down the wicket. How big is it? Uh, it's about a two shivs over the top of Shiv for six. Put Shiv on top of Shiv. I think he might have caught that one. He thought he was in there for a chance, but Via clears his head, clears the rope, and gets the maximum. Back live. He's hit that one straight as well. And work to do. Again, great cricket brain from Shiv. He was right on the rope as he came across, and had he not thrown it back in, you can see here, watch, grabs it. Okay, I'm going to go over the ropes, dumps it back in. And what would have been four, it was just a single. Via short and faster this time, so eased onto the leg side. And Emmanuel gets around, but they won't. Boy, he can't stop the two. Good fielding, good running. Good runs coming this over for the Islanders. And that was a good delivery. Finish off, but nine coming from it. 29 done. The Islanders 140 for five, requiring another 114 for victory. These two came together when the score was 69 for five. Right, on, now 71 run partnership. This partnership has scored more than everyone had before this partnership came together. And when that was 69 for five, didn't think Veer was at any point going to threaten Shiv's score of today of 137. But at the moment, these two stay out here. Veer could quite easily top that 137 of his brother. He's on strike now. He's going to move to 81. Lions are going to have to figure out how to break this partnership. Daria has bowled very miserly. Looked like almost getting a wicket a couple of times. Shoelace again, causing issues. Bending down underneath the score overlay there. Up he pops. Ready to bowl. Hamza Khan. 
strays down leg now as the boys get a bit tired. That's better, and he just pokes it behind point. And a run two on the arm of Avir. And get through. Keep the runs ticking over. So move towards the 150 mark. Often today we've seen the milestones like 50, 150, 100, 200, brought up with boundaries. All the Islanders do the same for the 150 mark. No run there. Kasim Iqbal behind point. Oh, that's a great delivery. Daria thought it was out. And that was going down leg again. He's getting it to cut back in so far that it's very difficult. Squeezed Khan there, shuffle backwards, but cutting back in so much. Great deliveries. Not far away from trapping someone in front. It's tight. Bat on ball. Make sure there's no dramas. Three dot balls in a row now for Kadaria. Oh, and just lobbed a little bit to the side of Kadaria to mid on. Gets a single, will we'll retain the strike. Five off the over, after 30. Islanders 145 for five. Let's have a look at it, the worm. And look at that. All of a sudden, very, very equal. At this point, Lions had lost six wickets. And the worm is tied with the Islanders only lost five. Remember the Lions didn't even bat out their 50. They were bowled all out in the 46th. Game back on. Avir Thacker to continue into his fifth over. Started with a maiden. Last three overs gone for a few runs. Severe to Hamza. It's, can't beat the field. Kasim Iqbal. Great diving effort. They're still up and about in the field, the Lions. Bit of a mid-game lull and a few bobbles, but that was great fielding. And that's been put up in the air. How far has it gone? I think it's cleared the rope, in fact. No, they're calling four. Four. Just inside the rope. And that's the 150 up. I said they bring it up in style, and bring it up in style they did. Almost a maximum, but still a four. Very nice. Watch this, gave himself some room, bag, way at sails, so close to clearing the rope, it wasn't funny. Four in the books and 150 on the board. This time comes down, hits hard. Chris Brutani, right in front of our commentary position, does the fielding. Make sure it's just the single. That's what Veer has been doing. Gets on strike, gets a boundary, gets down the other end. It's going to be another single. And Manu does the fielding. It's been his boundary for a while since he came out of the attack. Granison bowled five. So he's still got three overs left. It's quite tidy at Econ of 3.4. This time waited for it to bounce and pushed it out on the offside for another single. Keep the runs ticking over. Oh, 
Oh, that's miss hit. That could be out. It is out. There's the big breakthrough for the Lions. And it is Cassie McBell taking the catch of it. Thacker getting the wicket. And that's the end of Hamza Khan for a very nice 29, breaking a huge partnership between him and Veer Mata. Just tried to put it over the infield, get it too high on the bat, and it's popped straight to Cassie Bickbal. Said earlier in the inning, over is very good with his hands. That wasn't a tough chance for him. Gobbled it up. The breakthrough happens just before that delivery. You heard the captain on the effects mic, Shiv Mathis, say, it's still got a long way to go, boys. One more wicket. And immediately, they get a wicket. That will bring Ishan Dadlani to the crease. He'll be at the non-striker's end because that was the end of the over. And all of a sudden, Veer has to form another partnership. He's watched six wickets fall. Stayed out there the entire time. Going at a strike rate of 110, of course, as he does. And you can't say the Islanders are done until... I see the back of Veer. 100 more runs for the Islanders and they'll tie it. 101, they will win. They've got 19 overs to do it in. It's Kaderia from the softball ground end continues into his fourth over. Veer takes a single. Dadlani will face his first delivery of the game. what Kaderia's shoe may need a new lace it's about the fourth time he's had to make adjustments I don't know if it's laces or part of it's not quite right but he's back up again that one cut back in again as well he's been getting that ball to move like that very nicely no run no shot offered That lining will go back down. Bat on ball this time, but oh, uh, there could be. A, oh, that would have been a disaster for the Islanders. Veer came down a long way, had to go back a long way. Casimikbal had a shy at the stumps, but. In the end, Dadlani again Just pushes it onto the offside. having a chat the umpire perhaps talking into the scorers but one ball remaining in the 32nd just the single off it again Kateria miserly that ball to sh well and now we're gonna have a discussion between umpires so
We think there's one ball remaining. Well, another good delivery from Kaderi. There is only one ball remaining. Now there's none. One run coming from the 32nd. The Islanders 154 for six. They need exactly 100 runs from 18 overs. Jacob Lim coming into the attack, it looks like, for the Lions. Will be the first time we see Jacob Lim today. Bowling from the Argyle Street end. Having a chat with his captain. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, oh, it's, it's Ali coming into the attack. Apologies. Again, I'm reading 29 when it says 20. Muhammad was uh, Ali. Ready to go. Good start. It does make sense that Ali's bowling and not Jacob Lim, who's sitting in the dugout, busted rib. Good start from Ali. They're going to run. Get through safely. Bit of parochialism in the Cricket Hong Kong broadcast booth with Muhammad. That was uh, Ali being the nephew of um, Wakas Ali sitting next to us to the left. He's watching on eagerly, nervously, nervous uncle. Watching his nephew in the All-Stars. Thanks to the Caravel Foundation. He'll be bowling to Dadlani yet to get off the mark. Gets down on one knee and he's popped it straight up and popped it down. Oh, unfortunate. Ali unfortunate not to get his first wicket. Chance of a catch and Dadlani got off the mark. And now Via is going to go for three. Oh, that's good fielding. Seen some great fielding today. Last time that Ali bowled to Dadlani. Dadlani tried to hook him around behind square. Almost popped it down the throat of the backward square. And for Dadlani, I, well, there's one player outside the circle. Everyone else is hovering for a catch. That's poked out to point. Veer managing to put on more runs again. Four on this over for himself, moving to 92 down the non-striker's end, which is where... Oh, that's lofted back to the bowler. Over the top, outstretched fingers of Ali. Can't get anything on it. And ends a fairly tidy over. Five runs coming from his first. 17 overs remain. The Islanders requiring 95 runs with four wickets in hand. And looks like we're taking a drinks break here. Now a play gone through. Quick look at the batting and bowling cards. The batting card there, one name standing out again. The name Matha. This time it's V for Veer. Not out. 92 off 83. Decent clip. 111 strike rate. And everybody else kind of fell around him. A great partnership between him and Hamza Khan, though, until Hamza was out for 29. The partnerships there. Look at that. 84 runs between Veer Matha and Hamza Khan. Brilliant effort. Coming in late in the innings, and we'll have a look at the bowling card. Two apiece to Singal and Shihan Audrey, and one wicket to Yassia and Via Thacker. Join us on the other side of the drinks break for the end of this first Caravel Foundation Under 16s All Star Series from Ting Kuang Road.
Welcome back to Ting Kuang Road. You can see the match summary. We're about to get underway. Again, Katera just honing in on those stumps. Someone somewhere has a leaf blower. Hear it in the effects mic. Kadaria and his fifth over now, none for ten. I mean, good figures. Deserves a wicket. With Veer out there in the form he's in, it'll be the tough wicket to get. It might be hard to target Dad Liney. Just the one run so far, and that came off a drop catch. So coming in at number eight for Ishan Dadlani. You can see on screen, 94 off 100. Certainly doable, especially with Veer out there. Kadera is not giving up any runs. This one's driven, going to get runs on the offside. <laughs> Popped up off the shoe of Kasim Iqbal and landed on his shoulder. They get three for the single and Veal will face one of the final two deliveries of the 34th. Pulled the hand off the bat there and let it go behind down to wide deep third. Ali doing the fielding. One ball remaining in the 34th, a bit of a field adjustment. Moving fine leg, a bit squarer. And we're going to re-bowl that one. And Veer's going to get the free hit because they get the single as it goes down. To Roger at that whitish fine leg. Can change the field. Can't change the batter that's on strike, unfortunately. Expect that Via, who is six runs away from his century, might just attempt to get there off this free hit. So there's a lot of people going a long way out. They brought fine leg inside so they can put an extra deep mid wicket, long on. Deep cover. Here we go. Free hit. He tried everything there, and it was a good delivery in the end, Kadaria. Wasn't going to let that ruin his figures. And he's bowled five now, none for 15. After 34, the Islanders are 164 for six. And we can see more people coming in down to watch the Caravel Foundation under 16's All Stars game. Wakas Ali down there, these students coming down to watch as well.
We've got a guest in commentary for this big Caravel Foundation All-Stars. It's the juniors and the men's talent pathway manager, Mark Farmer, who's overseeing everything this week and the weekend, is joining us in comms. Farms. Thanks, Bushy. Great day of cricket so far. This is a cracking game. Thought that the Lions were on top and the Islanders weren't going to be a hope there for a while. 69 for five. All of a sudden, I mean, you can't, do, you never write either side off when it's got a mather in the team. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the two of them have done a fantastic job. And I'm hoping the younger brother takes the game deep today and uh, we see everybody play out there with a bit of pressure, see what happens. Well, if he only needs another, what is it, 43 runs to tie his brother on 137. So they'll have something to discuss at home as Veer gets home safely as his brother fires the ball in. So, yeah, so far the game. First game of the Caravel Junior All-Star Series running eight days straight. It's been a cracker. It's been absolutely fantastic so far. Um, great to have the weather on our side, at least today. Um, and, yeah, 164 for six after 34. If they keep their wickets in hand, they're right in the mix for creating an interesting game to watch. So I couldn't be happier thus far. Um, great chance uh, compared to previous years to finally be able to see the guys play longer format cricket uh, and get much more of an opportunity out in the middle to uh, have their skills challenged and, and be able to express their skills. Ali continuing from the Argyle Street end and starts with a dot. I'm just having a look at the over comparison farms and actually... It's very, very close. Uh, after 35, the Lions were 166 for seven. They lost a wicket in the 35th. So that's going to be wide and more runs. Could be all the way down to the ropes. Work to do, chasing it down. Gets there just in time. So Yassir doing great work again. So get two plus the wide. And yes, you can see on the screen, obviously, six for 168 with two balls remaining. How tight's that? That's absolutely brilliant. That's a great little matchup, and and shows how much damage you can do at the back end, and shows how much um, of a contribution Shiv had, but also those last few partnerships um, with players being able to stick out there and build a partnership. It, it just shows that uh, a partnership is exactly that. It's not just about what one player does or everybody having to score at a rate. It's been able to stay out there together and do exactly what they've just done there. Keep rotating the strike and pick up pick up boundaries and the extras where you can, uh, and it soon soon builds up. Well, it's hot work out there today for both sides. They've done a great job, the youngsters, playing the full 50 over format. Final delivery from Ali, Dadlani, and it'll end in a dot, so Veer will have the strike next over. So there we are, 35 overs done. The Island is 169 for six, requiring another 85 for victory. And on the runs, they're three runs and one wicket ahead of where the Lions were at batting. That's a remarkable comparison, actually. Uh, and if, if you were able to, unfortunately the guys can't hear the commentary, but the Islanders should take a lot of confidence out of hearing, uh, hearing that comparison and knowing that they're they're right on track with how the Lions went, uh, and a run rate required of just over five and a half is, is nothing too scary. That worm couldn't be any tighter if it tried. One wicket extra in hand for the team in green. But we also had big hitting from Shiv right there at the end, but they didn't bat all their, tw all their 50. Can, is that gonna play a factor into this? Well, it's always the number one, number one thing on a batting KPI is bet your overs, isn't it? Um, so time will tell. Kadaria continuing from the softball ground end. He's been impressive, if not just unlucky not to get a wicket. And that's well played, chopped out by Veer onto the leg side, Yorker. But that will put Dadlani back on strike. Now, I've not seen Kadaria ball much before, but he's getting it to shape in beautifully. And as you can see, he's only gone for 16 runs in 5.1 overs. Yeah, a little bit of grass on this wicket has helped keep that ball um, in reasonable nick. So he's doing very well to shape that ball still. Really like the way young Ishan Dadlani's shaping up there. Uh, I talk a lot in our training sessions with the guys about being able to hit a straight ball straight. So if a ball comes down 
middle and off can you hit that straight back to where it's come from? Well, actually, Honestly. you can tell me a bit about Dad Lani because I've I've not called him before at all. I don't believe. Have a chat after this delivery. Guides it behind point. Quick single. And good running. Yeah. So uh, where does uh, Dad Lani play his? domestic cricket. Jeez, you're going to quiz me here, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's a young lad from India Club. I do remember him from uh, last year's All-Stars. Uh, unfortunately, I was away with the uh, under-19, so was missed out on a lot of the trials. Um, but he's a very good young up-and-coming cricketer. As I said, nice ability to line the ball up as a batter, and I'll carry on after this ball. Had a good chat with him out in the middle at drinks break. Some very good thoughts. Bit of tip and run again onto the leg side. They get through safely. Yeah, he was he was quick at the drinks break to say that he needed to just calm down a little bit. A few balls when he was first out there were a bit aerial and, and just play a much longer innings. Uh, that term that you hear a lot in all levels of cricket about taking the game deep, uh, trying to get past the 40th over as a first checkpoint and then and then see where the team's at. There it is, nice straight bat. And like you say, the nerves to start with when he went out there for the All-Stars. Popped one up behind square. Was lucky to survive, but you take your chances, don't you? Well, the nerves is exactly what we want from the All-Stars. We want the guys put under pressure uh, in em environments and having feelings that they've never sort of had a fe felt before in many games of cricket with butterflies in the stomach. Right, that's got a bit of bottom end, but it's going to go yes. between two fielders. And they'll get back probably for two. They will. It's good running and it means Veer will be on strike. Bit of, bit of common, commentator's curse there, isn't it? It always happens. And I'm glad it's you and not me, as it usually is. Uh, that was the most expensive over that Kaderia has had, actually. Five coming from it. And he's bowled six, got two in hand. And after 36, 174 for six for the Islanders, requiring exactly 80. And the over comparison. Couldn't be any closer if you tried. 174 for six for the Islanders and the Lions at the same point were 173 for seven. Brilliant comparisons. I think one thing that both teams that have noticed today is fielders just be, seem to be sitting a little bit too deep in the ring and it's making uh, rotating the strike for the batters a lot easier. A lot of quick singles just straight to the fielders uh, and that will certainly be something that I'm hoping these two teams are able to reflect on. Ali to continue and Veer Watful. Oh, yeah, I did notice that, especially when Shiv was batting as well. You knew the last ball of the over, he is going to take a single. You've got to bring the field in and stop that single. Make him go aerial, make a mistake, who knows? Ooh. Wow. Got away with that one. Have a look at the replay. A tough chance for a keeper, but they're the, they're the little moments that can matter, can't they, in games of cricket? Time will tell. I don't think Chan Chad or Veer knew where that ball was going at all. He's down the other end now, Veer. Dadlani gets down on one knee, can't get anything on it, but it was down leg. Yeah, so the Tigers have a very good chance today, to, if they're watching, to learn from some of the things that have been happening in this game and try and uh, take that learning from the opposition, from the, from the other opponents. And one of those would be making sure that if you're in the ring, you're stopping the single. Speaking of, it's not that one there, but I do have the Tigers team here. We haven't mentioned that they'll be in Sunday's game. The first time we'll see the Tigers, they'll be playing the Islanders. Ali rolls to Veer. This time, make sure it goes in front of the stumps. But it's a pretty strong side, that Tigers side as well. These two sides out here, of course, we've seen very strong. Veer grinds his way up towards that century mark, moves to 98. Yeah, it's always a challenge trying to put the teams together and hope that they're balanced and, and they're going to have good competitive matches, which is what, what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm not worried about who wins, I just want to see some really good cricket um, out in the middle and teams batting 50 overs. That's in the air as well and it's going to pick a gap between three players and race down towards the ropes. Will it get cut off? Yes, it will. A diving shift matter again saves... 
the boundary back for two. Chancing his arm to head Lani, but gets back safely. 37 overs done. Islanders 180 for six, needing another 74. Yeah, I was wanting to ask, actually, Farms, who at Cricket Hong Kong has the sense of humour to put the Mato brothers against each other and the Bhutani <laughs> brothers against each other in the first game of the uh, Caravel Foundation Junior I'd, All-Stars? I'd love to say it was all planned. Um, them not being in the same team was planned, but the rest of it uh, is just... Worked out perfectly. Yeah, we've had uh, Veer bowling to Shiv, Shiv hitting it to Veer. We've had Chris and Rishi involved themselves as well. And it's great to see, that's what I was saying, it's not just teammate against teammate. At times it's family member against family member. Creates a bit of banter around the dinner table. Well, it's going to be a big discussion this afternoon between Veer and Shiv about who had the best game out there. We've still got 13 overs to find out who it will be. I'm waiting for Shiv to bring himself on and get the matchup going. Well, he might have to. He needs to do something to get rid of Veer. He's on 98. I would suggest he's probably going to tip and run his way, get to the century, and then, much like his brother, try to explode in the last 10 overs or so. So tactically, looks like that was very planned. Happy to give Veer the single, and then we see the offside packed with a lot more people closer in trying to stop that single with a few catches so trying to put a bit of pressure on Ishan Dadlani he just needs to be patient enough to sit in and know that he's doing the right thing by batting there and building this partnership he has put a few lofted on the offside so they've set that cordon for him from backward point through to mid off well inside the circle Keeps this one nicely along the ground. And we also can't forget that Veer was caught by Shiv off a no ball. Just to add intrigue to it all. Oh, I couldn't believe that happened. What was the chances? I heard it. I missed the catch, but I heard it was a good one. It was a good one. It wasn't as good as his first one that actually got a wicket, where he came screaming in off the circle. And to dismiss Preet, I believe. He's been really good in the field, Shiv, as you expect. Again, little uppish. Oh, well, they're going to come through for an overthrow. It's uh, disappointing. It's having a ring field there with one, two, three, four, five in the ring, and to be able to hit it straight to one of them and pick up a single plus an overthrow. I don't think we saw any overthrows in the Islanders' bowling innings, but we've seen a few. We saw five. One go for four as well in this inning so far. Valuable runs for the Islanders. Again, that's again a shave of the head. <laughs> he's, he's not going to die wondering, Dad Lani. He gets the boundary out of it. Oh, he's absolutely teasing the Lions. It's just dropping over and front around. And this partnership just continues to be a thorn in the side of the Lions. My goodness, how frustrating it must be for Kateria. Just, they had the cordon set, they are in close, so instead this time he pops it over the head and goes for four. We'll say it was planned. Well done, Dad Laney. Moves to 16. Hits that one straight. Again. Ooh. That was a diving shift, but that time I thought he might have hurt his hand. Gets back up, gets the sunnies, he's fine. Now. How are they going to give him the single here? How are they going to try and play on the 99 runs they might not know they probably don't it's true he's going to go for it he won't have the strike next over but he will have his century via matter with a very very well fought century 100 off 97 Brother did it in the first innings, and now Veer Matha, the younger brother, brings up his century. 97 balls, eight fours, two sixes. Just been out there, done the job for the Islanders, and keeping them in this game, batting from the beginning. What an innings. Incredible stuff. Loving the running between the wickets. Um, when Veer's been out there with his batting partners, a couple of moments of confusion and close calls but has done a fantastic job throughout his innings and as now this partnership has brought the run rate required down below four and a half, five and a halves 
we're going to see a bowling change. Sheehan's going to come on, little left arm off spin, see if they can change the tempo, because the Lions desperately need to break this partnership. He's only got two overs left, Sheehan. I'm suffering from heat stroke, because uh, I said Veer wouldn't be on strike. Of course he would be. He took a single off the last ball of the, line of the over, the previous. So he's on 100, and he'll be facing Sheehan. Two overs left. He's got two for 33, including a wicket maiden. Someone's going to get Veer. It could well be the left armour. Oh, good fielding. Actually, I'll ask you for an update as well, Farms. Jacob Lim, is he okay over there? He looks okay. Sort of yeah, no, he, he was okay. He was just uh, more concerned and glad that he managed to stop the ball. <laughs> um, so a little bit of an impact injury just under his uh, on his pec, but he's was he's that, okay. Was that on the rope? Was that how he got that? No, I think he got a knee ah. knee into the uh, into the chest, but he's so he's okay. That's good. The Lions will want to see him fit, and he might is he uh, available to play for the Dragons on Monday, or is it because the All Stars are on no availability? There you go. I'm asking you the tough question, but. He's more than welcome to make himself available. I've not said he he can't be if he hasn't got a game here. The 16s have got the day off on Monday. Oh. That's again up in the air from Dad Larning. Survives. The Dragons are playing the Infidels on Monday in the Sunday Div 2. And again. Well, they're going to run on this one. This could be very, very close. Oh. Finger goes up. Veer's been run out on 101, and that's a huge wicket for the Lions as Veer Matha has to go run out on 101, and the seventh wicket falls for the Islanders. Ouch. That's going to hurt the Islanders. An unforced error. Another little chip by Dadlani, and it was a great throw from Krish Bhutani right over the top of the bales. And Veer, absolutely devastated. A very, very fine innings comes to an end. And the Islanders now have to find a way to build a partnership and, as we often say, take the game deep. Could that be the turning point? The Lions have been trying to get that wicket for 38 and a half overs. And in the end, they basically gave it to him. Probably wasn't, the, well there definitely wasn't the single on because he was run out. In the end, Veer's got to go. It was clever from Krish. Saw that Lani was coming, so he went to the longer end. So they got the dangerous Veer Mather out for 101. It brings the left-hander, Cheyenne Puri, to the crease. Speaking of uh, spinners, you've got Sheehan on, Cheyenne bowling. Yeah, left armour versus left armour. Dad Lani now is going to have to stay out there with Cheyenne. One of the players from the under-19s, not the team you took last year, but the team this year. Well, you took them down as well to Thailand? No. You did. So well, one of the players that was exceptional on that tour, Rishan Shah, I believe, injured and unavailable for the All-Stars. Yeah, unfortunately with a bit of a back niggle. So physio orders as he's out, which is unfortunate. He was um, listed to be in the Tigers, I believe. Correct. So that's correct. A big out for the Tigers. Well, there you go. We said that if Shian comes on, he might uh, generate a wicket. He doesn't get it to his name, but they get the run out, the huge wicket of Veer Matter falls in the 39th. The Islanders 190 for seven, requiring another 64 off 11. Have a look at the comparisons, Farm. Where are we at? There's this one now. 190 for seven versus 192 for seven. There we go, just the differences. There was a Mathur still at the yes, crease exactly. for the Lions. I can maybe pick your brain, is it? Any big hitters left come out for the Islanders? Late smash required, perhaps. 
Gunnison into the attack again. Dadlani doing what he does, banging it up in the air, over the top of the infield, down to the rope for four. Instead of dabbing it just over the top, he's actually getting much more purchase on it, especially with the pace from Abimanu. So he gets another boundary and he moves to 21. It's turning out to be all very deliberate, the little chip over the top. It does, doesn't it? I mean, that was stylish, that one. I wonder if it's going to cause... I think it has spread the field out now. They've pushed back. Yeah, so Shiv bringing on Abimanyu, bringing back one of his frontline bowlers to see if he can take a couple more wickets and put this game out of reach. It's nicely guided, but straight to Kasim Iqbal, backward point. It's something we also touched on before you came on comms farms there's quite a few of the players out there fasting for ramadan so it's a hard day's work during the all-stars and they've done a great job the youngsters yeah absolutely it's a real challenge um, for those guys mentally and physically um, and i think that's you know one of the reasons why we wanted to carry 13 players in the squad just to make sure that with the longer format and most of the guys having not played that um, and a number of guys fasting, the ability just to rotate guys around. It's going to be a test tomorrow for the under-13s. They're playing 40-over format. In the domestic leagues, even the under-15s don't play that long, so the youngsters are going to be having a workout over the weekend, starting tomorrow for the under-13s. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to see it because, um, you know, our younger players don't get that opportunity to play longer format cricket. Um, and so I'm, I'm really excited to see the guys be challenged in that environment. Batters get so much time to go out there and bat and accumulate runs. Uh, and bowlers get a decent opportunity to get a number of overs. So, yep, physically it'll be physically and mentally it'll be a big challenge the amount of time. But um, hopefully something the boys are looking forward to. I think we're one ball short here. One ball left. When you say one ball left. Official scorers say one ball left. I think we might have one ball left. Maybe Manu has to go back to his mark. Yeah, that's the big thing. It's not just the physical stuff for the under-13s, but also the mental. You know what under-13s are like. The, the ability to focus for a 20-over game sometimes <laughs> is a struggle. It's a mental challenge for adults too. I know. <laughs> You've watched enough cricket. I'm calling it. I've <laughs> literally making mistakes as my brain slowly fries in the afternoon sun. Yeah, so for the under-13s, it's going to be a great challenge to watch. What are we starting off with? Tigers versus Islanders, I believe, tomorrow. I'll have that team here somewhere. The 13s Let's have a look. I think there we go. It's the same. Islanders, Lions. Lions. Oh, okay, there we go. So Islanders... Oh, there's a, plenty of names in there. The Islanders captain is... Who's the captain for them? It doesn't mention on my list. Uh, Otis Lee. Otis is the captain, so first list it is. And you're playing the Lions, you said, which means James Walker will be the captain. A couple of HKCC optimists, under-15s, playing under-13s and under-15s in charge. It'll be a good game. We'll be live from... About 9am for the toss, 9.30 game start tomorrow for the 40 over format. Change of bowler with Cassie McBale coming in for his first over. Great shot, great punch off the back foot and it's going to pull up just short. And they'll just take the two. What I loved about that dad line, he had called two off the bat. As soon as he, he hit it, he knew where it was going and it pick the gap and he's called two and he's run two and the longer he stays out there the better he's looking Dad Lani. More confident. It could well be his job to guide the Islanders home as they move towards the 200 mark now inside the last 10 overs. Oh 
Oh, he's got an edge. Oh, that's another one-handed catch. <laughs> <laughs> Trey has just stuck the mid out again for the second time this innings. And that is a great catch. And that is the end of a good innings from Dad Lani. He's out for 24, but Chan Chat takes a screamer. And Iqbal gets his first. That's just a replica, isn't it, of earlier in the day at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Not much time to move the feet. One big man out there, straight in the middle. It's Job done. It's the confidence after he's taken it to say, yeah, that was no problems. He walks off, throwing the ball in the mid. I could do this. I said it after the first one. He was acting like I could do this all day. It's Don't worry about it. And then literally um, goes and does it again. It's meant to happen that way. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, say game well and truly in the Lions' hands at the moment now. Two wickets more. Still requiring 57. Coming to the crease. Imran Ahmed will be on strike. That was a good call by Shiv to bring Iqbal in. Hadn't bowled until the final 10 overs. Took him exactly two deliveries to get his first wicket. Always an interesting stat to look at is the number of extras. 32 in the first innings and Lions currently have bowled about 24. Those runs can make a big difference come the end of the game. And we were mentioning, oh, I was mentioning earlier, the 32 on top of the score just bonus. But 24 so far, the Lions aren't far behind them. the Lions were to go down they might have a look through that scorecard farms and just number two through to six not through to seven in fact from Preet Rishi just not troubling the scorers and it was a Hamza Khan that had to come out and that huge partnership with Shiv get the game back on track for the Islanders I should say Yeah, it's interesting looking at the scorecards of both teams. Only three players in each team thus far that have got over 20 runs. Um, and then it would be even interesting looking at the number of balls players face. A lot of coaches around the world talk about your first 30 balls in an innings. That's your getting yourself into your innings. If you're able to get through 30 balls, then you've done a pretty good job of getting yourself in and getting yourself started. 30, 30 balls, usually you've been out there for you know, around 40 minutes, which means you've got used to conditions, got yourself set up. Uh, so that will certainly be the challenge for batters is to try and be out there for 30 balls. And once you get there, you get yourself going. And I did notice that in the first innings and then again in this innings. First game, nerves, jitters, of course, the all-stars. But maybe there was a T20 mindset at times from the batters. There's balls that could be well left, trying to swing at and got all the time in the world 50 overs is a long day but it's a hard mindset to get into as a youngster and even our, all the way up to the men's Hong Kong China team sometimes when we're playing the 50 overs some of them go out there thinking they're playing T20 as well yeah very much so that patience is important and the, the closest thing that we watch on TV at the international level to what these guys need to be doing is actually test match cricket going along at 3, 4 and over and then it's the last 10 that you can start bringing in that T20 or 50 over style batting that we see um, the international men's teams do. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's what I'm you know, just leave it. Leave it. Doesn't matter if you rack up six, seven dot balls. Just leave it. When you have to play, play. Get your eye in. This is a man that never played All-Stars in under 16s. <laughs> Rather optimistic appeal coming over the wicket with the ball not swinging a huge amount. And pitching about three stumps outside leg as well. But a good little battle here between under 19 teammates. So I'm sure there's a little bit of banter on the line uh, here between the two. Cheyenne certainly won't be shy of saying a few words if he gets one away.
He works into the leg side just for the one. Well, I haven't seen much of Cheyenne Bat because he does play in the KCC men's teams quite often with his talented bowling. But always, you know, batting 10 or 11. He's not out there in, in the team to bat. How is his batting? Yeah, he had a very good partnership um, in our prep tour in Malaysia. Um, batting down the order, I think, with Chris Brutani. They put on around 40 runs at close to a runner ball. Uh, so it tends to use the pace of the ball and work it around. So he is capable of being out there and trying to build a bit of a partnership. He's done it before. That's a more confident appeal, and the finger goes up. And that's the end of Ahmad. He's out for a duck as well. And the ninth wicket falls for the Islanders. 198 for nine. Got the right hander back on strike. Yeah, looking fairly adjacent there. Unfortunately, that's another batter for the Islanders that hasn't troubled the scorers. It's the fourth duck in the innings, actually, so far. And James Caldwell's going to come in at the end, capable batter himself. So let's see what he can do out there. I'm sure he's hopeful that. Well, both the batters are hopeful that they can just stick it out there and put on some runs. Maybe pull off a miracle, but an opportunity to be out there for eight, nine overs. Head coach of Hong Kong China men's team, Simon Willis, just came past commentary and pointed, gestured at you and asked, what's going on there? Of course, he can't come in here because he's got the lurgy. It would be him having a seat as well. You Lucky I missed that. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see him gesture. <laughs> oh, me. yes, there was gesturing. Is this, what is Ges this? Gesturing what? and posturing. Was yes, <laughs> yes, much gesturing and posturing. Ah, one more wicket, and the Lions have this done and get the first points in the 2023 Junior All-Stars. <sighs> Thanks to Caravel Foundation, and it was very close to being the wicket there. We saw James had a few troubles with his run-up. A few no balls when he was bowling today. And we actually heard him behind the commentary position at one point having a chat to one of the broadcast people. He says, he's got a new run-up. and it, Oh, that's got an edge, I think. I heard something in the headphones. We'll have a listen to see. No, it just buys. Oh. And it almost took his off stump. Grabbed a little bit of the pitch as it went through. That's how the 200s come up, though. Yeah, well, I think every run here now uh, is obviously useful runs for the Islanders and the, the batting partnership. But in a tournament like this, net run rate can come into things. So any run that they're able to contribute to the score could make that little tiny bit of difference. You never know. Absolutely. And looking at the weather forecast for Sunday, it's a little ugly. Hoping to get a game which will be the Tigers versus the Islanders. So, negating any big net run rate loss if the Islanders can't get there. It's still doable. Only need 52. Can Cheyenne and Caldwell do that? Iqbal going around the wicket to the left-hander. It's a no ball. It's a no ball. Well, let's see what Cheyenne's got. You are talking about his batting earlier, asking what he's got in the locker. We're going to get a chance to see it. It's now or never for Cheyenne. Got the free hit. Slower ball. Oh, and he's crunched it. Lovely shot. Absolutely smoked it through Cal Corner. Two bounces over the rope for four. Lovely shot. Well, run rate's not the issue, really. It's just the fact that there's no wickets in hand. Yeah, that is a pickle, but this certainly helped. It was a slower ball from Cassim. It's almost an off spinner. But he punched it down leg, and Cheyenne saw it early. Hit it well. And need literally a runner ball. 47 off 47. We found the gap there, too. It's going to be at least two in it if they run hard. Run hard, they do. Shion picks up.
Seven off the first two legal deliveries is just what the Islanders need because they now need a lot less than 52. Down to 47, uh, 45. There it is on screen. Kited, they've got deep third. That's quite peaceful now that blower vac stopped in the background. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Nothing to get my headache going than a leaf blower for an hour or so. The next one will be the lawnmower when it fires up <laughs> after the game. Immediately the last ball's bowled. The lawnmower fires up straight into the effects mic. Really good crowd came down farms. The parents supporting on Good Friday. The tent's been full all day. Now the bleachers are filling up. It's been great. Yeah, it's fantastic to have so much support and people coming down. And look, like I said, it's just so exciting to get this cricket on, um, to be playing this sort of format of cricket, playing longer format cricket with these guys. Um, you know, it's just it's just great to be able to see. Good cricket being played by our up and coming, up and coming players. Oh, it's through, through the legs for four. Ouch! Turning out to be a very, very lucrative over for filling, the Islanders. Filling just off the astro turf there. It's gone straight through the legs. He's been relegated down to third man. <laughs> Just that that is that. tough. In fairness, he is fasting, which isn't going to make life any easier. Oh, brilliant ball. Well played as well by Caldwell. And <laughs> hits it straight to Ali, who has to go running after it and get it again. Well, that was a very handy over for the Islanders. 13 coming from it. They're 215 for nine. There is seven overs remaining and 39 more runs to get. Farms, this is going down to the wire. Let's hope so. I'd love it to go down and be in the last over and be game on. 15 off that over. Do that a couple more times and won't even get to the end of the over. The Islanders will get there. This will be the final over from Ganeshin. He has bowled seven overs, one for 23. Manu again. He'll be bowling to Caldwell this time. <laughs> Play and miss. I just need to get through these overs, bring on another bowler, just keep chalking them up. And that We'll hear it time and time again, but if they're able to take that game deep, get into the last three, four overs, and you just never know. Whipped away down to deep third, gets the single, Cheyenne will be back on strike. Got left to bowl, Sheehan's got one over. Kadaria's got one over, and then everybody else that has had a bowl today has plenty left. Here's Puri on strike. He just eases it onto the leg side with that 5-4 offside field. Runs to be had. They don't only need to run a ball. Less than now, 5.7. Could that be the way that the Islanders get home? Another good dot ball though. Yeah, it's just this sort of sense of everybody waiting for this last wicket to hopefully fall out in the middle from the Lions team and every time a run just keeps ticking over. They're just inch closer. Not close enough for anybody to get too worried yet, I don't think, but... I'm sure there's some nerves out there for the Lions, boys. Let's see the updated scoreboard each over. And the last time it went from 200 to 215 very quickly.
He's got that line where it stays a little lower outside off. It's a great ball. Just gets the dots rolling through. Only two runs from the 44th. The Islanders 217 for nine. And that's the end of Gunnison. He's bowled out his eight. Who have they got left? Like I said, Kaderia's got one. Sheehan's got one. Who are they going to bowl? Perhaps from the Argyle Street end. Is Cheyenne willing to attack again? The short boundary. Looks like Sheehan's going to bowl out. This will be his final over. Seven overs so far, two for 34. Uh, Shiv is throwing everything in kitchen sink at this, trying to get the final wicket. Yeah, it's good to see you still taking it very seriously, thinking very carefully about the tactics because you really do want to finish this game up as quick as possible. See the ground staff are all ready to go. They're, they're expecting it to wrap up fairly, <laughs> fairly soon. And always, like I said, trigger finger. That lawnmower will be on within about three seconds of the final wicket. I think I can see someone walking over to it now. Yeah, there it comes. <laughs> Fire it up. <laughs> and he is too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've worked a few games at Ting Kong Road in my time. Also, just for the broadcast, I'm not sure where Sachin's gone. He's out there on the camera at the moment. But we've now just ticked over to the Bushy's curse of having to call at least 90 overs per game. What's that curse? Uh, every time I have the commentary headset on, we go at least 90 overs. Oh, outstanding. Well, we're going to yeah. keep you on comms all tournament, I'm, I hope. I'm good for it. Always an entertaining and long game when I'm on commentary. That's a great stat. Uh, they call it a curse, but that's just the, the broadcast team that wants to go home early. <laughs> <laughs> the Bushy's curse. And it doesn't matter whether it's All-Stars, Under-16s, Men's Premier League, 50 over, Sunday Division 1, Division 2. Yep, it's going the distance. So when you're not there, short yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all over within 40 overs total. So does that mean the broadcast team are always trying to stay away from you? There is certain people over there from Cricket Hong Kong staff that literally try to not work when I'm uh, on comms, yeah. At the moment, we're continuing on. It's very tidy. Sheehan's last over, just the single coming from it. He's bowled out as well. Two for 35 off his eight. Five overs remain. Another 36 runs required by the Islanders. Just one more wicket required by the Lions to get the first points in the 2023 Caravel Foundation under 16s All Stars. Mm, the discussion here is. Not Jacob sure. Jacob Lim coming onto the field, rotating off. Okay. And is that Romare looking like he's walking over to assume wow. position to bowl? Pick of the bowlers. Three overs, two for nine. It's been used sparingly today. Oh, they might be looking at him to come in. I mean, knock the stumps over. He's got two for nine off three. He's bowled a wide and a no ball in that. So seven runs off the bat. I think he got away with the free hit, so no runs came off that bit. But it's bowled very, very well. Still plenty of chatter out there from the Lions. Go lads, go lads, go lads. Final push. Got two choices here. Grind out the last five overs or get the last wicket. Here is Ramir. More runs eased onto the no run. Not willing to take on the arm of Ganeshan. Yeah, it's good to hear the Lions still chatting away, encouraging each other after a long day. Uh, 
chance the arm this time. Oh. Good stuff, Romain. Another run to a straight to a fielder. Well, they do need 7.5 now after that very tidy Shian over. So basically, they're going to have to do tip and run and hope for a little bit more, either from extras or the occasional boundary. Caldwell just going at the strike rate of 50 at the moment. Both of them out there need to be going at a runner ball. That's a chalk one up. Yeah, I think if the guys are able to find a way again just to get into the last two overs, even if they're needing 12, 13 and over, at least they're, they're in there and they're in with a shot. Um, might be a case of picking a bowler that they've got to try and take on before then, but let's see if they can get there. Had a little bit longer and like we said who knows in the competition if they're able to chalk up a few extra runs does that have an impact on net run rate if that does come into play you never know of course if the islanders can bat out that 50 even if they don't get the runs that little bragging right over the line so they bowled out well that's cut hard and gets through the infield it's going to go all the way there's a boundary just to keep things interesting Absolutely cracking shot. He's had a few swipes outside off against Abamanyu and he's finally connected against Romare. And he's managed to go through Jacob Lim there. Still playing under 15s, but he's a big unit. Bang. Good wrists as well. Quick. Two balls left. That's going to be another extra. He's Maybe got a little bit into the head of Ramir. Runs continue. I mean, I know a win's a win, but if it goes the full 50, the Lions are going to come off not feeling like they've smashed the team. Oh, that's a good delivery comeback. Yeah, definitely. Even if the uh, Islanders were able to bat the 50 or get close, that's going to be a little bit of a message to the Tigers as well to say no game's going to be easy. Uh, and I think the Lions might have a bit of reflection on both their batting, not batting the overs, and, and bowling performance on where they can improve. As that line outside off... Yeah, the dot balls like to rack up, but still healthy overs. Seven coming from it. The Islanders 225 for nine with four overs remaining. They need 29 more. This partnership now up to 27. At a runner ball. Kasim Iqbal will be bowling from the Argyle Street end. Two overs, one for 15. Not pulling the trigger yet on Kaderia with his final over. And they go around the wicket to Cheyenne Puri. Pokes it onto the leg side for an easy single. Yeah, touch wood, but these guys, these two have done a tremendous job thus far for their last partnership. Made a reasonable contribution here, and just keeping the lines honest. Delivery and no run. Valuable dot. There we go. And we see one of the coaches getting on the sideline, which means they're getting a little bit nervous. Yeah. That's if we say from the Lions. Coach. He's just talking to Chris Butani. He's in the action right there. Not exactly sure what he was saying. 
I love it. You can't wipe my smile off my face. <laughs> you seeing, can't. seeing a little bit of pressure, uh, a game going deep and still be sort of in the mix uh, this deep into a game is brilliant. Puri on strike. Easy runs behind square. How many is it going to be? It should be at least two. Cut off on the boundary. Come back for two. Four runs safe farm with two balls remaining in the 47th. 25 off 20 farms. Certainly doable. Let's keep ticking along. Take the game deep. This time in front of square. So it'll just be the single. Kadaria with the diving effort to cut that down to one. Caldwell to face the final delivery. Vic Bale's third over. Oh, Ooh. gets through. Dot ball, valuable dot ball. Didn't get the wicket. <laughs> uh, Coach Hussain thought that one was going to be a wicket. Looks like that should be over. But Coach is getting nervous. <laughs> It is over. We got three left. 18 legal deliveries. 24 runs required. One wicket in hand. Oh, what a fantastic opening match for the All Stars series. Couldn't have asked for much more, really, from a from our first match to to go this deep and this many overs. Anyway. Is absolutely fantastic. Such as bags in the way, like usual. And um, <laughs> there you are, Farms. Desperately hoping, desperately hoping this goes into the last over. I was about to point out I should get a glass of milk and put it on your right knee because it is bouncing like this in oh, anticipation I'm of how to see goes. it go into the last over. Well, what's going to happen? It is Kadaria back into the attack. Bowl his final delivery. A final delivery, final over. I'm getting gobsmacked. None for 29 so far. He's bowled better than that. Deserves a wicket. He's going to mix it up. I don't think I've seen him bowl around the wicket so far today. Yeah, it's a tactic that we spoke about with the under-19s when we were away. You tend not to face too many left-handers or bowl to too many left-handers in Hong Kong, but there's plenty more in other teams. And when that ball's not swinging, Especially bowling around the wicket gives you a lot more control. Here we go. Starts with a full one. It's driven nicely straight. How good. It's keep going. It's going all the way. Down to the boundary for four. See Simon Willis heckling me saying I meant to be impartial because I celebrated that. I just want it to go into the last over. He's celebrating cricket. That's right, I'm celebrating a match with cricket. Cricket's the winner today. As we're going down to the wire. Starts with a four, then a dot. I hope you've got plenty of uh, strepsils, Bushy, with a week non-stop of commentary. Ah, it'll be fine. We'll be right. Might have to wheel me out of here next Friday. Won't be able to walk anymore, but... Hopefully the voice holds. Kadaria. Oh, they get a run. And they put the pressure on the fielder. Get three for the single. Oh, another run to the fielder in the ring. Certainly going to be a, uh, a point of reflection for both teams. Like I said, great chance of the Tigers are watching to learn from this. Three balls left in the 48th. There's more changes made to the field. Deep square leg. Square leg going back on the ropes. Give away the single if it's on the legs, but good bowling onto the offside. They're going to run as it goes wide of the off mid-off fielder. Shiv again. 
Six off the over, two balls remaining. We're down to 18 runs required. Said earlier that you did, I'm saying that a few of the Lions boys might be a bit nervous out there. I think all 11 might be a bit nervous out there now. Yeah, the tension's just ramping up with every run, isn't it? You'd think, if you're sitting on the sidelines, you'd think the Lions, so they've got plenty of time to get that final wicket. But when you're out there in the middle, and the runs keep coming. There is another single. I'm going to do at the end of this over, let's bring up the partnerships to show you how good this final wicket partnership really is. 28 off 29 runs. No, 39 off 38 runs, if correct. I'm correct. We're going to put it up and show all the partnerships throughout the innings for the Islanders after this ball. This has certainly been one of the greats for the Islanders in game one. We're going to take another single, meaning eight off that over, which is more than they required. After 48, two overs remain. The Islanders 238 for nine. They need 16 more runs for victory. Let's look at those partnerships. There we go. There's the partnerships. Have a look at that, 40 now. Second biggest partnership of the day for the Islanders between Cheyenne Puri and Caldwell. And can it, might it well be a match winning partnership? They need another 16, so they need to get the 50 partnership if they want to win this game. Some nervous Islanders players over there as well. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Get us into the last over, then I've got my wish. Well, that's in six balls time. Kasim Iqbal will be bowling the next six deliveries. Comparison. What was our comparison, Bushy? Ah, uh, yes, I can give you that. As Kasim Iqbal comes steaming in. Starts with a dot. So after 48 overs. Well... That's all right. That's, we can't comparison because they were all out in 45.5. Oh, wow. Was it that many? I thought they got through a little bit deeper, but obviously not. No. Uh, I knew that. It was a trick question. I yeah, was trying to test yeah. you. Well, at the, <laughs> at the same point, <laughs> the Islanders were a fair bit behind. They were 225 for nine at the end of the 46th, and the Lions were all out for 253 in 45.5. But the benefit of that extra four overs might come to play for the Islanders. That one, 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 one wasn't from the batters. That was from Kasim Iqbal, Shiv going, don't get, let them get two. If they can get this into the last over, there'll be one very nervous bowler running in. Who will it be? That's the question. Kadari's bowled out. Who's, who's going to be given the most nice nervous over in All-Stars history, perhaps? And there's going to be runs again on the offside, but only a single. As you say, two more balls, get a couple more runs, bring it down towards to a ball. It's going to be game on. Who will it be? What do you think, Farms? I think if you're going to put a prediction, it's still the Lions. Oh, I mean, who's going to bowl it if we get oh. there? There's a lot of options. Yeah, plenty of favour bowl today. No, 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 Having a look, who's the Possibly, most... Possibly... Um, Ramir, maybe? It's been quite economical. Got two wickets. Yasser might mix things up. You've got to get through two more balls first. Very well nice played one. for one. Lovely shot. <laughs> I couldn't do much more, these two. Puri and Caldwell to save their team. 43-run partnership now. Just ticks past four o'clock local time.
And he is Iqbal around the wicket. Oh, and no ball. Could this be costly? Cheyenne, last time he got a free hit, smashed it for four. Nervy coach to our right of the broadcast tent. Here we go, free hit, Cheyenne Puri. And he gets bold. Are they going to run? They should run. And they do run. Well, they didn't get the boundary they did last time, but they do get another run, and that means just 11 more runs off the final over. Not impossible. We're going to the death. Farms. I'm not going to say it. Are you going to say it? What are you, what are you going to say first? A super over. I didn't say it. Are we doing super overs? I, I, we I are. They're in the playing conditions. Oh, my goodness. We might run out of light by the time this game finishes then. Well, I'm glad you said it and not me. I was forced into it. Here we go. Tied match is super over. A super over will be played in case of a tie in all matches. Well, I've got my wish, Bushy. We're into the last over. Yeah, you're so a happy man. So my second wish would be to get to the last ball. There we go. It is Yassir. It looks like it's got been throwing the ball. Brilliant. Zisha here, Yassir. No stress. Just a little bit of stress. The Islanders. Needing 11. Off six legal deliveries, ten will be a super over. No matter how this finishes, it's been an absolutely cracking start to the 2023-24 Caraval Foundation All-Star Series for the juniors. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Yeah, absolutely, and on that, must have a massive thank you to the Caraval Foundation for all of their support because it really wouldn't be possible without their support. So a huge, huge thank you um, to them. And also a big thank you to MV Play, um, our technology partner who is powering all of our broadcast and our analysis that the players will get access to at the end of the games too. Here we go. Around the wicket. Hit hard. Not hard enough, but it will be a single. Ten off five. going to need to get a boundary here and that's going to be the challenge to think about where are they going to get that from long off long off or deep mid wicket still remains open so hang on I think Shiv might be going back to long off no he's going to stay he's inside the circle the go out. East could be two in this if they run hard. They are going to run hard. Chance the arm. Can he get back? Diving effort. Gets home safe. Two on the board. Eight off four. One ball closer to my wish, Bushy. <laughs> Eight to win. Seven to tie. One more wicket for the Lions to win. And it's a no ball. Oh my goodness. They get a run as well. So two runs in the book. No dot. 50 run partnership up between these two. Cheyenne Puri and Caldwell. There it is on screen. Looks like 10 of it has come in extras. As I say, my thank you is a big thank you as well from Montgomery Sports who have kitted us out in the uniforms. The guys look great as always. And this game is absolutely fantastic. This partnership, absolutely outstanding. Said they had to get the 50 partnership if they wanted to win. That milestone has been reached. Now they just require another six and they've got a free hit to start with. Puri on strike. Hit in the air. 
Won't carry, one bounce, just a single. But that's a three run ball then. Five off three. I think, the, I, think the, I think the adults are more nervous than the kids at the moment. People running around trying to find out what the score is. Three balls remain. Five runs to win, four for a tie. Wicket to win. Crunched! Oh, can't get through the infield. Only a single. Good fielding. I always think one of the most tense places to be is usually the parents' tent, Bushy, because you've got a split down there with parents on both teams obviously wanting to win. It can be a very tense place. It's looking quite quiet today, actually. Did they uh, split one into the Lions, one into the... Well, we oh, have well, seen a little bit of a fracture break off into the other, uh, other dugout of the tents. There we go. Two balls remain. Four to win. Three to tie. Wicket to win. Shine Puri on strike. Hits it straight back. Oh, there was indecision and it's going to be a dot. Well, well, well. Four to win. I think our super over is unlikely. A three. Anything can happen. An overstep. You saw three runs off that ball. I must say, it's been an outstanding over thus far to be throwing the ball after not having bowled for a long time. Come in with the exception of the no ball, everything has been of a high quality for a young lad coming in under pressure. You can see the Islanders lining up along the side of the boundary in anticipation, counting the number of fielders on the boundary to see if there could be a no ball. Hoping that Cheyenne Puri has got something in the locker. Here we go. Final delivery. It's whipped around, but it will get cut off. They're going to run for two. It's probably going to be a run out. It is. And the Lions get home on the very final delivery of the first game of the Caravel. Foundation under 16's All-Stars game. Farmer, what a game of cricket. Oh, that's an outstanding game of cricket. We couldn't have asked for anything more from the first game. Absolutely brilliant. The lawnmowers started up. Yep. The groundsmen are ready to go. Uh, it's an absolute thriller on the last ball. And that last partnership was absolutely outstanding. Uh, to get a 50-run partnership for the last wicket, not out. Uh, they'll be absolutely gutted not to get home or a tie, but... What an incredible game of cricket. Yeah, commiserations to the Islanders. You can see the boys there. 54-run partnership, but just fell short in the end by one run. Well, I think it's uh, two runs, in fact. We'll get that rectified. But yeah, got to 251. Ran back, couldn't get the second. So all out for 251. How close. That's how we want to see the All-Stars games. The first one done and dusted for the under-16s as the boys shake hands two centuries we don't see that very often from either both sides and they were brothers oh what a game of cricket oh it's an absolutely outstanding start to the caravel foundation all-stars series uh, and just shows exactly what coaches always talk about you hear commentators talk about about taking the game deep and if you can do that and you're still betting in the last few overs of the game you never know what might happen so um, fantastic effort by these two teams uh, and we look forward to tomorrow's action I'm just getting word that that wasn't a run out at the end the finger didn't go up so two runs they went down by one run oh my goodness so close heart can hardly handle it we're starting again doing it all again tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. the game starts 9 30 for the under 13s Caravel Foundation all-stars game and then we'll see the Islanders back on Sunday against the first time we get to see the New Territory Tigers. Oh, I've got to go home, get my breath, farms, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Can't wait. If we can have more of that, please. If you keep commentating and we keep going into the last ball, then happy days. Righto. We're going to do Player of the Match Award. We won't be talking to anyone, I don't believe, as that's the rules. But I'm not sure if we're putting on camera. Just bear with us, and we'll find out the details on that one. But farms, thanks for joining us. Come drop in. Anytime you're here all week, I'll, we'll do this at the end of the game again. No, outstanding. Thank you so much to you and the uh, whole broadcast team. It's been fantastic.
All right, stick around. We'll uh, at least mention who will be the player of the match very shortly here on the broadcast. Thanks for sticking around. We just got word of who is the player of the match today. And it is, of course, the captain from the Lions, Shiv Mata with a 137. You can see it on screen. Got the job done. Almost got run over by his brother, Veer, with 101. But Shiv's the winner for the first game of the Caravel Foundation under 16's All-Stars player of the match. We won't be showing it live because, of course, we've got the under 18's kids here. So we don't be uh, putting them on air. They are currently having a photo just to my right. Shiv getting the award. So don't forget, join us again tomorrow. The under 13s in action from 9.30 a.m. Hong Kong time. We'll be live from about 9 a.m. with the toss. Until then, Aaron Bush, please join me tomorrow morning. And until then, signing off. <laughs>